Got, we got Andrew Tate's cousin up in here. Santa Monica, Connecticut, Canada, El Salvador, Philippines, Boston, Bangkok, Jamaica, Puerto Rico, Toronto, Detroit, Costa Rica, Ohio, Minnesota, Canada, Finland. I'm from the Nap. Yo, Portugal, Mars, but you ain't for no more. You think you ain't about Elon Musk? Birmingham, Toronto, Cali. Is that Rena? Is that Rena? Texas, what up, baby? Representing that Texas. Montreal, Turkey, Philly, South Africa, Moscow, Sweden, Illinois, Egypt, Dominican Republic. It's really cool when you guys uh, tell me all this because it reminds me that I am streaming to the whole goddamn world, <laughs> which is actually wild every single time. Netherlands, Miami, Portugal, Mexico City, San Francisco, India. Holy, holy worldwide, bro. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever part of the world you guys are from. I hope y'all are having a wonderful motherfucking day. Puerto Rico. All right, so chat. We're going to be doing a lot of testing with uh, Aventurine today, man. Yeah, we're going to be doing quite a bit of testing with Aventurine today. Arla, man, thank you for the prime sub. Arlen just subscribed. Um, we have a we have two different sponsors today. Uh Marvel Strike Force is resuming in case you guys picked up off of that. We're only going to be doing it in 30 minute intervals. Like I'll be playing Honkai Star Rail for about an hour and a half. Then we'll take a quick little break, play Marvel for 30 minutes. All right, we're going to do a 30 piece. And um, and then we get back to Honkai Star Rail. We have another sponsor today, which I'm really excited about. Nice. It's a meal prep sponsor from a company called Factor 75. I want to wait for a little bit more of you guys to get up in here before we start talking over it. But essentially, at the bare minimum, I just want to talk to you guys because y'all been requesting for a long time that I start talking about health, right? Because that's my that's my main job. Well, honestly, it ain't, it ain't the main job anymore. It's the goddamn content creation, paying these bills. But let me tell you, but it is a job I've been doing for over a decade. Uh, I've been in it for quite some time. So I, at the bare minimum, I just want to talk to you guys about health benefits of macronutrients, you know, spreading your meals out throughout the day, talking about the micronutrients, the benefits of, um, you know, carbohydrates, proteins, fats, and so on and so forth. But we're going to get into the details on that in a bit in conjunction with the sponsor. We're basically utilizing the sponsor to, you know, spread the, the knowledge of health and well-being. Do you stream primarily on YouTube? No, I stream primarily on Twitch, but I just bought um, some some subscription to something called Restream. I bought the year subscription just so I could uh, simultaneously stream to both Twitch and YouTube going forward. So we're going to try this whole go to Twitch and YouTube going forward ordeal. Uh, because a lot of people have been asking about that too. Smack, are you going to stream on YouTube too? Are you going to stream on YouTube too? This is live. Yes, it is live. It is absolutely live. Um, amazing investment there. Yeah, I mean, why not? If, if, I got, if I got an audience on YouTube that wants to watch on YouTube, you know, why the hell not? That's a, that's a market to capture. All right, give me one second here. E6 Aventurine, ain't no way in hell. What up, Smack? Kidachi, what's up, baby? Do stream music only on Twitch? YouTube is a pain on copyright. Is it? Oh, bro, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. I didn't even think about that. YouTube show do be on that bull with the, with the copyright, man. Oh, my God. All right, anyways, the menu today, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to reiterate, we're going to be testing Aventurine out, uh, fact-checking everything I said about him. Uh, we'll see what his damage looks like. We'll see what he looks like with a defense body versus a crit damage body. Um, we'll see if he can do anything that is truly like game changing, uh, how he compares being versus being replaced by like another support. Uh, we're going to pretty much try to touch up on every goddamn thing I said prior to his release in this stream today. Then after that, if we have time, I would like to play a little AFK journey. It resets in an hour. Uh, we'll see though we'll see about that because i also have to play marvel strike force so we got a lot on the menu today all right we got a lot on the menu today my damage isn't far off from your calcs oh and same here uh mr p I, i'm pretty much doing the exact shit i calculated which is hilarious my only sustain is bailu since 1.0 so i kind of need a venturing absolutely yes 
bro, you got don't be skipping no adventure with just a bylu. You think our general mains got power crept by Zestrine mains? It's a strong, it's a strong uh argument. We'll see. We'll see as the time goes by. The the uh the Jinguin mains are a powerful and formidable foe. <laughs> they are a powerful and formidable foe, chat. Uh smack, we gotta talk about floor 12. What's what's going on with floor 12? Yeah, hey man, we can do that too though. I actually already completed it. I'm I'm gonna make content on it eventually, right? We'll go, we'll like take a deep dive. Oh, wrong one. We'll take a deep dive into how to make a venture in an easy fight. But uh yeah, this was definitely the hardest fight they dropped. Period. Since Honkai Star Wars released. Like there's not a more difficult fight than a Venturine. But after a little bit more testing with him, who knows? Maybe Sam will 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 top him off. Right now, I feel like uh Aventurine takes the cake. I want to see your zero cycle. Shh, I don't know about that, bro. That 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 Gamba shit is so annoying. I might be able to, but I have I literally saved a lot of my testing so that I can do it on stream with you guys. So I haven't been able to do a lot of testing off stream. I've also been knocking out like sponsors back to back. The dinos on the first half are harder than Aventurine. Nah, you just got to get rid of their shield. If you don't have Ron May, that dinosaur is a nightmare because you got to get rid of his shield. Is Jing Liu worthy? I think I love Jing Liu, but I think you're you're always going to have another DPS come out down the line. That's, you know, that's going to be new, fresh and strong. You know, there's always going to be another DPS. I, I think if you pick up Jing Liu, you definitely aren't making a bad choice. I'll tell you that much. Jing Liu cooked the Venturine? I bet she did. Like, look, Jing Liu did not fall off. Let's be clear here. Jing Liu did not fall off. She's still incredibly strong. Um, and because she's also skill point friendly and she can actually open up potential for another slot on the team to deal damage. Yeah, I think picking her up is not a, is not a bad pickup at all. But don't get it twisted. I can absolutely see Jing Liu eventually getting power crept as well. I can't see it. Y'all know, y'all know how Honkai Star Roll is, bro. AB dropping motherfuckers left and right. Hey, what y'all want about his damage? Eventually, and sustain is nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, here's that. This is the reason why I want to test all that today, chat, because I'm pretty sure every single thing I stated prior to his release came into fruition. Every single thing. The only reason that I got flack. It's because motherfuckers can't accept the fact that his damage is indeed mid. That's it. That line, damage is mid, is the only reason these brain dead selective hearing nerds are disagreeing with me. That's it. You take away that line, damage is mid, and, and there's no disagreement. <laughs> there's literally no, no disagreement. Xing Shui, best DPS, Tro. I've got an adventure in on support with his light cone if you want to do damage comparisons. Um, I mean, I, I don't need to. I can just literally calculate your damage, brother. Yeah, but how do you keep stacking HP on these mobs and bosses? Even Jing Liu going to be considered mid eventually at this rate? Isn't it funny, though, how the Jing mains were also mad about his damage being mid? <laughs> All right. So let's... um. How many we got in here? How many is on YouTube? I have no idea how many of y'all are on YouTube. I don't even know where to look for that information. I really don't. I have no clue how to look for that information. All right. Anyways, though, guys, um, the first thing I want to do, I am going to um, plug in my sponsor here. We're going to go over some health benefits of the meal prep we have on the menu for today. So once we knock that out, then we can get straight into the testing and all that stuff, chat. All right. Listen, we're going to have to come together. This is our sponsor. All right. We got to work together as a team. All right. Listen to me. It's me and you. Family. 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 <laughs> now, honestly, though, this sponsor is is I, I really feel like there's just nothing but value for you in it. And especially if you don't know anything about like dieting, I think you're going to find some value in this, like regardless. You know what I mean? If you don't, if you can't afford the meal prep or whatever the case may be, fine. Just listen to the talking points. I'm actually going to bring my partner in on this stream as well. She's going to help me go through some of the talking points of the meals. But it's a, it's a pretty fun treat, guys. It really is. Uh, I do want to mention 
Give me a second here. You guys can join. Actually, you know what? We'll go over that here in a bit. Let's just go ahead and get into the uh, to the soup. We'll go over that in a bit. Give me one minute. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so I am going to. We're going to pin that link. There we go. We should be able to. Did the stream start recently? Yeah, no, we just started. We just started. Okay, fellas, first thing I want y'all to do is um, you can join the Discord. So you can join the Discord, guys, and you can scroll all the way down to the bottom. Put that up here. You can scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says Factor 75 Sponsor. Click on the discount code and click on this link right here. Now, again, I'm not telling you you have to buy the meals. This is just going to help you follow through the process so you can see exactly what I'm about to be talking to you about. So we'll click on this link right here. It's going to pull this page up. OK, let me put this out the way. So it's going to it's going to pull this page up right here. And once we get here, now we can get into it. This is the sponsor for today's video, uh, Factor 75, guys. All right. So before we get into the Honkai Star Wheel plates, I do want to go over this tidbit just for a little bit. If you click on that link, you're already going to get 50 percent off your first box purchase. Um, what I like about it is you got six, eight, 10, 12, 14, and 18 different meals that they can give you within the month. And depending on which option you choose, you get a discount on the price, right? Me personally, first selling point here, guys, literally the first selling point, I'm gonna be doing this service myself. Like, don't ignore the sponsor. I'm literally gonna do this service myself because me and my girl in real time right now are struggling with the meals throughout the day. Like, one big struggle, especially since our little one entered the, uh, the, the, the fray, <laughs> entered the picture, is getting lunch and dinner cooked every single day. So for me, I like looking at these kind of services. Which one you picking? I'm going to go over the whole thing, T-Shock. I'm going to go over the whole thing. For me personally, I like using this to literally supplement my current diet regimen. Oh, I had dinner today, but I skipped lunch. Oh, I had lunch today, but we skipped dinner and went and got fast food, right? Oh, I didn't hit breakfast today. So me personally, these 10 meals are going to be strictly utilized to fill in the gaps of my current day-to-day -day diet regimen, which is why I'm going to be using the service, which is nice. Now, what I like is they do have a number of options. They have keto, chef's choice, calorie smart, flexitarian, vegan, and veggie, and then protein plus. I'm personally going to be using the protein plus option because I am a health and fitness person. I work out all the goddamn time, right? I'm, I'm active all the time. Um, now I want to look at the meals though down here because the meals look pretty damn good. If we come over here to this, we're going to go to the weekly menu up here at the top left corner. Wait, why is mine not showing that? What's going on over here? Oh, my screen's a little bit too, too, too large. Is that what it is? Can y'all see that? Like it's like hovering up. That's interesting. That's nah, okay. So guys, you go to the top left and weekly menu. Oh, this don't work in UK. Yeah, so 14. Bad news bears. If you live outside of the United States, the discount, you're just going to have to just listen to the talking points, the educational. It's not going to work. That's the bad news bears. All right. Bad news bears outside of the United States. Else. But listen, guys, at least listen to the talking points. As I told y'all, first and foremost, I just want to uh, educate you guys on the, the health benefits. That's it. It's OK. Like, that's what I'm telling you. You don't have to buy anything, honestly. But if you listen to the health benefits, this will help you. All right, so weekly menu. Generally, what we're going to do here first is we're going to choose the Gotcha Smack special. I'm going to enlighten you guys on what I would choose to eat day in and day out to get me in shape. And then you can just follow that train of thought. So we'll start off with this first one. But first, let me uh, call to action my girl. I don't know if she's like, I don't know what the hell she's doing. Let me get her real quick. I'll be right back.
all right, we got the Gotcha Smack special coming up. All right, listen here, we got the Gotcha Smack special coming up. Damn, those look really appetizing. Yeah, y'all probably gonna get a little hungry in this stream, man. Let me scoot over a little bit. All right, um, this is Bubs. You can just call her Bubs. This is what I call my partner. You can go ahead and scoot over a little bit more. Damn, hold on. This is a tiny ass camera when I put this into perspective. All right, there we go. And then we can do that some more. There we go. All right, slide this over. Everyone meet Bubs. Hi. Uh, if you want to just tell the, me. the woman, the myth, the legend. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> okay, so look, guys, we're gonna we're both health and fitness professionals. We've been doing this shit for 10 years. All right, so I'm not gonna sit here and talk to you like I am the the best person on planet Earth, but let me tell you, we do know what we're talking about. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna handpick a couple of meals that we ourselves would eat throughout the day. Go over the macronutrient content, the pros, the cons, and why we're choosing certain meals over other meals. And I feel like that is going to at least give you a good rough draft as to how to go about your days and your diets. I've actually been getting requested this for a long time on, on YouTube, but I ignore all of it because I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I do enough of that in my real life. But, you know, you get a little sponsor and it changes the narrative rapidly. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with the top rated meal. We have shredded chicken taco bowl, which already looks good off rip. Um, I do want to go over the, can we zoom in? Yeah. I want to go over the um, macronutrient content. Guys, one of the first things you want to look at when you're ordering a meal is the macronutrient content and make sure it's proportional. Bub, do you want to go over why that's important? I want to have a little bit of balance. You don't want to eat something that's high fat heavy or something that's just loaded with carbohydrates. Protein is always going to be the most important thing you want to look at. And then the carbs and the fat are going to fall in place get a balanced meal like that you're going to have a little bit better energy throughout the day and it's kind of setting you up successful planning for that. yeah and for me to uh piggyback on the things she was saying i just want to talk talk to you about the like the specifics when you're looking at fat carbohydrate and protein typically when you eat a meal you're going to have higher carbs Fat's going to be the lowest macronutrient, and then your protein is typically going to sit anywhere between 25 to 40 grams. If you're a male, 40, uh, 35 grams is kind of what you want to aim for. If you're a woman, you want to aim for about 20 grams, 25 grams. The reason being is if you're a woman and you eat 46 grams of protein, you're going to shit out like half of that, well, also, which is a waste. If high protein and, and when gassy. So, like, if you are overeating, have a little puff in your stomach it's yeah. because you had too much for and you're going to want to try to keep your 30 and let's make sure we're reading comments because if people are asking questions i want to make sure i'm not just um talking uh mike is too far my bad guys this is a this is a tricky one because it's like i'm trying to talk to the mic while also having her talk to the mic <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh i think they can still hear me chat can y'all still still hear me from this angle Okay, so then I'll just put that right there. And baby, here, you can go ahead and scoot over a little bit more. All right. There you go. And I think we should be good if they, they can still hear me. Uh, okay, so back to what I was talking about, guys. I want to give a little scrutiny to this particular meal. First of all, I love this meal. It's, um, it's high in protein, which is not a bad thing. Like I told you, if you can't digest, digest all the protein, not a big deal. You're just going to poop the rest out. Who cares about that? But the carbohydrates are low. This is very low for carbohydrates. This is a good thing. Typically, your carbohydrate is your primary energy source. And if you're not expending energy, the carbohydrates store as fat. That's not a good thing. Am I right on that? You're right. Okay. Yeah. So you typically only want to eat carbohydrates when you're expending energy, aka you're going for a workout, you're going for a run, you're playing pickleball, some type of extracurricular activity. So this is good for when you're sitting at home, sitting at work, and you need a meal to eat that's going to be easily digestible. The final thing I want to talk to you guys about is the fat, the fat content. Fat content, uh, it's a tricky one because fat is usually like, <laughs> it's something that you can cap out easily. I'm just going to give you a generalized rule of thumb here. Um, most people, especially males, have about a cap of 100 grams of fat. Honestly, if you haven't been active, it's lower than that. It's probably like 70 grams yeah. of fat per day, per day. So this, when you look at this, this is 20 grams of fat. You've already deducted 20 grams of fat from your 70 daily fat intake. And that is, 
it's tricky. Get, let me show you an example. Let me pop out of here. Let's say you want to eat something like some, uh, some carrot cake overnight oats, right? Carrot cake overnight oats. <laughs> you, you woke up and had some oatmeal, 33 grams of fat, right? And then you had that other meal. That's 20 grams of fat. You're already at 53 grams of fat. You haven't had a single snack today. You haven't had bananas. You haven't had uh, avocado. You haven't had, I don't know, you can give me some a couple of fat Almond, options. Nuts. Almonds, walnuts, yeah, all nuts are high in fat as well. But if you, I wanna say one of the biggest struggles people struggle with diet is not staying within the means of their fat. Uh, they usually overcap on the fat and then, you know, that, that, that's, a big, that's a big no-no. You wanna add anything on to that, Bubba? Um, I was reading somebody said something about except for if you're working out, but if we're going to be honest, most of us here are probably sitting at our computers a lot of the time of the day. Yeah. So yes, you're right. If you are working out, those numbers look small, but this is for a person who works out all the time, who probably works standing up all day long also, not for people. Or behind a desk. Mm -hmm. So those numbers should be lower. Even if she they said not sound... you to us. <laughs> why why are you calling chat out like that, bro? I'm just being honest. Bub, I'm just kidding. Fire <laughs> their ass up. They used to it for me. <laughs> Unless you guys have a job like maybe a car salesman where you're walking parking lot all the time and then you play on your phone while you're walking, like yeah. <laughs> Volk. Yeah, yeah. You probably <laughs> she threw a shot. <laughs> you probably don't need a lot more than what you're seeing here. Yeah, I, I do. <laughs> that's funny as hell, but I do want to say, though, guys, going back to the carbohydrate, fat, protein scenario, what's some, something that's important to establish here is are you eating simple carbs versus complex carbohydrates? You know what's funny? Just a quick little break here. This sponsorship is about to get a hell of a lot more out of me than they, than I, than they thought they was going to get. It's because we're passionate about it. So it's like, I don't even have to go this to this length, but I want to make sure y'all are like learning the health of it all. I do like this particular milk uh, prep company, and I'm going to give it a try. But I, overall, I just want to make sure if I'm going to do the sponsor and get paid for it, at the very least, let me give back to you guys with a little bit of insight. Um, if y'all feel like I'm, I'm yapping too long about this, though, let me know, because I'm going above and beyond for this, to be completely honest with you. Uh, the sugar content is the next thing you want to pay attention to, guys, on, on every meal. This is high as hell in sugar. 30 grams of sugar is a lot. Rule of thumb, when you're eating any meal, about five grams of sugar, right? So when you look at something like this, 30 grams is really fucking high. However, my girl brought up a good point uh, previously where you said it's healthy sugar. Yeah, it looks let's elaborate on that. The date paste is something that is purely extracted from fruit. Fruit, date fruit. So it's not your regular sugar. It's not the garbage sugar. It's the better kind of sugar. Uh, then they have coconut. That's another one that's good as well, right? So you, you want to look at what they have in here. And I will say blue agave. That's okay. Oh, interesting. You, you learn something new every day. Sugar. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the pure garbage they put in everything else. But I am able to, to, to like call out the sugars off rip. You got date paste, blue agave nectar, and coconut sugar. It's funny because the agave makes me immediately think of tequila. <laughs> That's why I was like, ain't no way hell that shit healthy for you. <laughs> uh, the mic again, damn, my bad, guys. I keep putting it over here. My bad, guys. This damn, this mic is, I, why is it like, I feel like it should be a little bit more radius, it but I guess like it's not. That's okay. Anyways, guys, I'm like, I'm all over the place. I want to get back to the carbohydrate real quick. We'll go over every single meal. I'm not going to spend too much on here because we do got a lot on the menu today. But carbohydrates, there's simple carbohydrates, then there's complex carbohydrates. Simple are absorbed immediately. Complex is made to provide energy throughout the day, but that means the energy takes a lot longer to kick in. Uh, give some examples of simple carbohydrates for, for uh, you know, off rip. Simple is going to be your bananas, your vegetables um potatoes white rice white rice mm -hmm. and then complex carbohydrates you have brown rice you have sweet potatoes i think wild rice is a complex carbohydrate as well correct oatmeal oats rolled oats. yep o oats as well whole grain bread versus white bread white bread's a simple carbohydrate a lot of people get like okie doke by the simple carbohydrates guys um but okay do y'all have any questions for us before we move on to picking out like the meals uh, to sum all this up, too, by the way, guys, you, I, I'm probably giving y'all a fuck ton of information, and I apologize in advance if I am. Um, fat, carbohydrate, protein. On a, on a typical basis, guys, 
you want the percentage to be, is it big 50% carb, 30% protein, 20% fat? That is the general consensus, right? Yes, equals 100. The thing is, though, guys, that's not true for everybody. Um, how do I elaborate on it? So, um, pull this over here to you. If you're, if you're a person with a goal of putting on muscle and plans to do strength training all the time in the gym, your protein percentage is probably going to go up 5 to 10% of what he said, and then you're going to deduct the carbohydrates and the fat from that to sure. still equal 100%. Mm -hmm. um, if you're an endurance athlete, you're going to see the carbohydrates go up 5 to 10% from what he said. And the other two numbers are going to Because you're burning way more energy. If you're a person who likes to hang out at home a lot, well, the numbers you Bubba, gave are you, pretty good. You know, the, you know the audience we're talking to. Here. Yeah. So the, those numbers, those are the very generic numbers that keep you balanced and safe. That's going to be the 50... 30, 50, 20. 30, 20. Yeah. So uh, 50, 30, 20, 50 is carbohydrates, uh, 30% is protein, 20% is fat. And that's typically taking a, uh, a usual, like, you know, a, a typical lifestyle where you're not too active, but you're also not too sedentary as well. Uh, but overall, guys, I'm now we're going to step into, could you pick a few recommendations? I am. I am. Uh, uh, who doesn't work out, but wants to eat something healthy while playing uh, League of Legends. Okay, hold on. Let me read that one more time. Uh, could you pick a few recommendations for someone like me who doesn't work out but wants to eat something healthy while playing? Yeah, so that's what I was getting at uh, earlier, HelloFresh. That's hilarious that that's HelloFresh. Uh, let's go back over here and click on the shredded chicken taco ball. This was actually the first example we went over. So you're not too active, right? But you need to eat something that's not going to like store as fat or like be just super dense in macronutrients you have protein right here you have 42 grams of carbohydrates and you have 20 grams of protein i mean fat i will tell you this is very high in protein but as i said before it's okay go ahead i want to piggyback really quickly yeah, if yeah, you look it. at that picture right below it it says it's a protein plus meal so it is a higher protein meal but it's going to tell you that right below it and then it's calorie smart because it's also still within like a good amount of calories there. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did see that. That was actually a good point. Good point out, Bub. Um, get back to what I was saying, guys. If you're if you're sitting at the home, you haven't worked out at all, low carbohydrate meal is gonna be is gonna be fantastic. That's what you want to aim for. A low carbohydrate meal. It doesn't have to be high protein. Like I told you, it can be 20 to 30 grams of protein. Low carbohydrate meal, adequate protein, and then some fat in there. Most importantly, on top of the carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Half your plate needs to be consisting of vegetables because we need, most importantly, and I'll zoom in on this big time, we need uh, fiber. This right here, dietary fiber. A lot of y'all be sleeping on the fiber, all right? Going to the bathroom, getting a poop session in through two to three times a day, that's a good thing, all right? You got to let them demons out because if you don't let them demons out, you know, that weight just ain't going to be falling up. But with you over there... <laughs> What, what about I'm keeping it a buck? I, you know, I got to keep it a buck sometimes. You got to let them demons out, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so you want to eat you a meal that does have dietary fiber. Most importantly, constipation. <laughs> booty, booty health is important. No, seriously, guys. Uh, the, the fiber is very important. And generally, when you're eating a lot of meals, people don't have vegetables on their plate. If you want me to like sum up one of the, the like main benefits of a vegetable, it makes you go to the goddamn bathroom. Most importantly, Mo a lot of people don't eat vegetables and then they get stopped up and they can't go to the bathroom. Then you gain it on more weight. Your body's slowing down the metabolism. It can't digest shit. It leads to an array of problems. So that's why you want to make sure you have vegetables on the plate. Just to sum it up. Now, there's a ton of other health benefits. But that's one of the main selling points. Did you want to say something? No, he was right. Somebody put it also prevents colon cancer. Yeah, history. yeah, yeah. There you go. And, and I'm, there's a hundred more benefits. But I'm talking to you guys purely from a. I know most of y'all want to hear about health when you're losing weight, when you're trying to get in shape, right? You don't want to hear about the nerdy shit. So it's just like I usually try to stick to what's gonna enable you to lose weight, get lean, and all that. I'm pooping right now. <laughs> hey, there it is. There it is, right there. Okay, so to answer HelloFresh's uh, question, I I'm so fucking like elaborative. Sometimes it's a negative. I like this meal because it's low on carbohydrates. It has a sufficient protein and it's not too crazy on the fat. 19 is not too crazy. I generally like to stick around 15, but I like that. Also, look at the sugar, guys. The sugar is only four grams, so it's below the five gram. I like.
like this meal because typically I'm the one cooking the meals in the house, and this is almost exactly something I make at least once a week. You we're see how she threw some shade it? at me right there. No, I didn't. We're going to order it instead. And guess who's not cooking? Because we're going to order this meal. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. So though. I love the meal because I can say we already eat something very similar at least one time a week. Yeah. No, yeah. no, that's that's fair, Bub. I think it is. By the way, guys, how are y'all liking Bub on my stream? This is the first time she's ever been in my stream. I feel like she's still in my spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> Smack cooks in a different way. True. <laughs> Okay, so guys, this will be meal number one, guys, okay? This is my, I'm gonna like literally concoct a whole like ordeal for you. Now, I wanna be clear here. My sponsor might not like me when I'm saying this. I'm not selling you on these meals. This is not my goal. My goal is to, to educate you. And if you wanna buy it, great. That's great. Cause I think it's overall a great option for you. I am a, y'all know I stand on principle. I have good morals and ethics. I do not want to tell you to get something that I think is going to be bad for you. If this was bad for you, I would say don't buy it. I think this is good, but it can be on the expensive side if you it's not in the budget. Okay, so buy this if you can afford it. I think it's good for you. Meal tier list. But um, keep in mind that this is this this is it costs money. I'm just just saying. And at the very least, at the very least, at least you're learning. Uh, anyway, so that's number one. What, baby? I can say if you guys are buying Chipotle three times a week a or point. McDonald's or Chick-fil-A or whatever it is you're buying, kind of do the budget of it. And if it's equaling out to the same thing, it's really not that, that expensive. That was a great example because now we can go back to the prices on it. Um, give me a second. Hold on, guys. We'll go back to the prices on it. Chipotle bowl. How much does a Chipotle bowl typically cost you guys? Um, anywhere from like 12 to $15, right? Well, the $15 chat. Yeah, guac. So when you look at the price of these meals, look at the price of the meal. It's $6.50 per meal, right? So if I choose 18 meals for the week, that's $5.50 per meal on average. I'm not going to lie to you. That's a damn good budget option, even though you are paying up front. Now, it's, it, now th I want y'all to be clear, too. This is the 50% off. You get this on the first purchase, right? But your actual price is going to be $200. So when we take $200 and divide it ac across the span of 18 different meals, wait, what is that? I mean, wait, oh, yeah, I asked the wrong person. I'm the math person. My bad. My bad, bud. My bad. Let's just go ahead and do this real quick. 200 divided by 18. $11 a meal. That's pretty much Chipotle. You know what I'm saying? Actually, it's, it's cheaper than Chipotle because I get guacamole on my Chipotle, bro. They be hitting me for 15. You know, I be getting hit for $15. <laughs> Food theory crowd. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. So let's not spend too much time, babe, because we're yapping. I I'm already yapping way more than I thought I was going to yap. All right. So we got shredded chicken bowl. That's number one. That's a good one to eat when you're not working out. Let's move on to another option, baby. Which one do you want to pick? I want. Load more. Okay. I will tell y'all before, while she's thinking, you can never go wrong with the basic option, roasted garlic chicken. Look at that. You got your, you got your vegetable, you got your carb underneath the chicken, and then you got the chicken, which is the protein. Let's you can it. never go wrong with this shit. Look at that one. Yeah, like this right here. Uh, That's very low. It's, low look at this, guys. 26 grams of carbs. Low carb, high protein, even adequate, like good proportional amount of fat. You got uh, five grams of sugar. That's that rule of thumb I told you. Stay below five grams of sugar. And then you have dietary fiber. This is a great meal. Ain't nothing fancy, but let me tell you, it gets the goddamn job done. That is a bodybuilder meal. Like yeah. a meal prep, bodybuilder, same thing, six days a week. Mm -hmm. you, and, and that's, would you say that's lunch or dinner? I guess uh, it don't really matter. It could be lunch and dinner. Yeah, it could be lunch and dinner. If you really, if you're somebody who ain't tripping about variety, it, it can be lunch and dinner. Uh, so uh, which country does it serve? So Mr. P, I'll be honest with you, because it's funny, because when I went live, babe, I said, what up, world? Where are y'all from? They're literally all around the world. No, one of the negative things about this, guys, I think it's, it's, U, it's strictly U.S., United States, which is unfortunate. But like I said, at the bare minimum, you guys can at least uh, learn about uh, the nutrition aspects of it, you know, for free 99. Okay, so like this is the first option. I mean, second option, number two. Let's choose a breakfast. So we got two options now, guys. We got the shredded chicken bowl and we have roasted garlic chicken, okay? So we got uh, two options. Now let's find a breakfast option, which is I saw was down here. Um, you know what? It was the next page, if I remember. Yeah. 
I like the oatmeal. Blueberry. The blueberry oatmeal. Here we go. Here's a great breakfast option, chat. A uh, blueberry maple overnight oats. We got uh ooh. Well, it's breakfast, so that's fine. That's fine. It's high in sugar, guys, but because it's breakfast, it's completely fine. 61 grams of carbs is is amazing in the morning. You need high carbs in the morning to get the body functioning, to start your day off with good and uh, adequate energy. Um, so that's that's a good thing. Look at the fiber. 10 grams, bro. Double the grams that you normally see on any other plate. So that's massive. Uh, protein, don't really care about it in the morning. You don't stress about it too much. In fact, the fact that it has any protein is a positive for breakfast. Uh, but fats right there in that little ballpark range of 15 grams of fat to 20 grams of fat they want you to shit <laughs> holy oatmeal energy region plus 24 percent i fucking love my chat babe this is fucking hilarious i don't know why i'm tickling myself on that one salmon or I need to meet with the dad jokes, babe. Oh my God, I'm dead, man. All right, uh, 450 calories is, I, I we've been sleeping on the calorie consumption, most oh, importantly. Guys, okay. for males, I would say you want to strive for 2,000 to 2,500 calories. For women, babe, actually males is 25 to 3,000, ain't it? There. Yeah, it's up there. Never mind, I, I lied. It's actually 25 to 3,000 for males. For If you're a bigger person, probably even 35. And uh, for, for women, it's going to be anywhere from 1,500 to 2,500. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 1,500 to 2,500 for, for women. And I do want to talk about that real quick, guys. Uh, another Yap Fest. A lot of people have the common misconception of, I eat too many calories, I'm going to gain weight. That only applies if you're eating bad macronutrients, which is why I spent all the damn time talking your ears off about macronutrients and the importance of the proportions of them and how you're, you're nourishing the body. But if you eat adequate macronutrients... In a, in a whole calorie diet, you're gonna lose weight, and more importantly, you're gonna look good. And that's important to consider. So, because I'm saying that because I know some of y'all that are men, you're probably like, 3,000 calories? Sounds insane. Not if every single meal is macronutrient friendly and it has the proper nourishment in it. It's only when you go in and order in a whole goddamn pizza, double cheeseburgers at McDonald's with large fries, you know, oatmeal cookies, peanut butter, goddamn, you know, yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> I just said. somebody asked a question about why sugar is okay. So you got to think about when you have been asleep from whatever time it is that you go to bed. Let's say 10 p.m. You wake up at 6 a.m. From 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., 7 a.m., whatever that time is, you've had zero nutrients or hydration those hours of the day. So the first thing you need to do is fuel yourself, and it you're breaking a fast Water. breakfast. And so you want to fuel with the carbohydrates early in the morning. That's actually what helps with the brain function. That's what brings the alertness to you. Correct. And so that's why you don't want to say, we don't want to say sugar is important or allowed in the morning, but it is because you've literally been starving for however many hours you were asleep. Yeah. And, and put all that in short, you're breaking the fast, guys. You know, you need some energy in your body. Uh, energy expenditure. Expenditure. <laughs> <laughs> energy expenditure that word tri twists my tongue every time <laughs> energy expenditure <laughs> fucking shit man <laughs> energy expenditure is very important to how many uh carbohydrates you're consuming again if you just went for a long ass run a long workout loading up on carbs is a good thing but in the morning your body needs that energy immediately and effectively to wake up so, um, EE, -E, yeah, we need to just call that EE. -E. I legit only eat once a day, but because my activities don't involve moving, I end up becoming fat. Yeah, and that's another thing. That's a whole other conversation, actually, guys. I'll be honest with you. I don't necessarily disagree with the once a day diet, but there is a lot of uh, variables pertaining for it to work efficiently. Okay, so let's, this will be meal number three, guys. All right, we got three meals we chose. Um, let's choose another one, bub. Tomato, basil, chicken, risotto, risotto. Tomato, basil, chicken, risotto. How do you pronounce that last part? Chad, how the hell do you pronounce this last part? Risotto or risotto? Risotto. risotto? Okay. You don't like that? Why I don't, don't like that. Okay. I'm not a big fan. I hear you. Chat. Let, no, let's just, I, well, it's not just me and you. I, I respect that, by the way. But chat, what about y'all? How do y'all feel about this one? <laughs> risotto? <laughs> Risotto, yeah. Risotto. It's not like a Harry Potter spell, bro. 
Looks mid. Italian's trigger. <laughs> oh my god. I hate tomato. Eight out of ten. Too much vegetable. Let's at least just no, look at the friendliness of it. Actually... Bro said too much vegetable. <laughs> my, my you ain't eating enough vegetables. All right. Protein, car. Okay, this is a good one though. A little high in fat, but it's not too bad, right? You got four grams of sugar, dietary fiber. It's just a little high in fat. Parmesan, yeah, true, true. It's not too bad though. This is manageable depending on your day. It's not, a, that is an option, guys. I wanna be, okay, Santa Fe style. I remember this was high in fat, wasn't it? Uh, well, let's load more meals. We got the whole forest out here. All right, what's, what's another Ooh. good one? We got garlic filet mignon and base. Ooh, that sounds like a bro. What? There's that's no. A that's a chef special. That's a gourmet plate. Yeah. Oh, I. You, babe, my blind ass. I just realized they label them. So gourmet. I was wondering. I was like, ain't no way in hell that's healthy. But that look like some. But that look like a little wine gonna go with that one. Get that one. <laughs> Get that one for tonight. Date night. Yes. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and move on to a uh, new chorizo and poblano pico bowl. That sounds pretty damn good. Ooh, it got a little spicy there, just like my bubs. A little spice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see here. 32 grams of carbs, 7 grams of fiber, protein 24 grams, fat 20. This is solid. This is solid. That's this is solid. I like this. Um, uh, is there any negative about it? Honestly, it just looks like a pretty damn well-rounded meal. I don't know. So don't sodium, really yeah, just, just so you guys know too, sodium, if you are sweating your ass off day in and day out, if you're being active, if you're going for runs and you're active, you don't got to stress about sodium. If you ain't sweating a lot, that sodium, that salt stand in the body, that's not a good thing, okay? Uh, just to keep it up for you. But for the most part, the reason we don't like stress, I don't stress about sodium is because I'm going to go and get my sweat on every day. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. All right, so uh, ingredients in this meal. I forgot about this section. That's a, you know what, babe? We already didn't talk way longer than I had to. So we just going to go ahead and say that's meal number four. Yes. Meal number four. All right. Meal number four was, what was it called again? Chorizo and Poblano Pico Bowl. All right. Cool. What the hell is this? Oh, that's Gourmet Plus. So guys, stay away from the Gourmet Plus. All right. You see this? You see the Gourmet? Stay away from that. Y'all don't need none of that. All right. Y'all do enough of that already. <laughs> Y'all got the Gourmet Plus <laughs> enough. <laughs> uh, that one. This one, Southwest Southwestern chicken. I feel like we're picking a lot of chicken. I not. I <laughs> show sure damn right. But <laughs> now I, I just feel like we probably want to do a, a little more variety for the chat. Okay. Uh, let's do let's do something that's not chicken. Cheesy ground. Was that at cheesy ground beef and cabbage? Okay, let's look at this one. All right, so cheesy ground beef and cabbage. Ooh, this is interesting. God damn, that's a lot of fat. Lord have mercy, bro. Oh, that one's keto. <laughs> oh, it's keto. Okay. Oh, well, it's at least talking to you guys about what keto does and how it functions. Just a quick, I'm not going to yap your air off too much. It's high fat, low carb, little to no carb. Look at this, 17 grams of carb. That's insanely low. Keto diet, if you're doing a keto diet, this does work perfectly well. If you're not doing keto, though, this ain't going to work. Uh, move, moving back on. I have no, I don't know what keto is. It's a high fat, low carb diet, and it's made to function to where fat becomes your primary energy source over carbohydrates. So that's why you start eating fat instead of carbs. But there is a ketogenic cycle. That's how long for it to kick in. Uh, that's all right. We don't got to think of it off the top of our head. But you basically like it takes a while for your body to enter ketosis. I ain't yapping no more, bro. What did they need to pay me some more for that? God damn. <laughs> Let me move on to this next one, man. Uh, sticky pecan pancakes. Ooh. Sticky pecan pancakes. That look like good breakfast. How does it look, though? Uh, very high in fat. Very high in fat. Nine grams of saturated fat. Carbohydrates is high in... Uh, okay, so this, this is a breakfast. It's actually not too bad. It's doable. I will say you're going to have to spend the rest of your day managing your fat because of this. But it's really not that bad. I think I would, I would make this a breakfast. This is actually a pretty damn good breakfast. Uh, the sugar is a little high, but again, because it's in the morning, it's not a big deal. And I believe the sugar is not bad. Maple syrup, uh, coconut sugar. We got date paste. So we got coconut sugar. What was the other one? 
maple syrup and then date paste yeah those are all uh healthy sugar options if i'm being completely honest with you i would do this personally but you want to do it and make sure you're monitoring your fat for the rest of the day guys again you want to try and stay between like 80 to 100 uh if you're a male and if you're a female what is it babe like 60 to 75 they're fat yeah i would try to Okay, so yeah, I mean, pretty much more or less what I said. This is meal number five. We got three more meals to choose, guys. Three more meals. Maple syrup is pretty bad. Well, I mean, the worst of the bunch is the white sugar and the fake sugar. Those are the worst of the bunch. All right. Have a nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Let's go to the, let's go to the next week because they got another week over here um grilled pork chop i don't i'm not i'm not really a fan like you really got to know what you're doing with that pork chop for me to like it <laughs> you really do i don't like pork chop I, I, if, if, you, if you know what you're doing like my dad my dad whip up a mean pork chop uh let's load more meals i'm i well we're looking what's what's this right here no that's not it they they do have vegetarian three options. meals to zero cycle this week moc please gotcha <laughs> did you say they have vegetarian options Mm, so you want to go over there? I like some. This looks really yeah, nice. Like, Beef. Be How you pronounce that, babe? Bolognese. Bro, I'm so glad I told you to pronounce that, <laughs> babe. I was about to butcher that. That was close enough. Right? I was about to say bolognese. That what I was about to say. <laughs> Beef bolognese. <laughs> all right we got carbohydrates yeah i said it right on you. we got 19 grams of protein this is good another good option i like this and I like this is actually another sitting at the desk and i need a meal to eat option it's it's low on carbs sufficient oh well, that's not too high for males but good enough and then 25 grams of fat a little high in fat but not too bad this is a good option uh nine grams of sugar is all right Four grams of dietary fiber, 440 cal. I would eat this at my desk while I'm working on content creation. Dead ass. I would guarantee that nine grams of sugar is from the vet. Okay, so then, then, it, then it nullifies. Sugar. Okay. Yeah. Canceled out. Aventurine shield. Zesterine shield. All right, cool. So I like this. This is number six. Beef bolognese. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say again? Bolognese? Bolognese. 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 All right. T tomato cream and rosemary chicken fusilli. That's how I don't know. Looks, looks nice, though. Yeah. I know they said they don't like tomato, but it don't look too bad. 41 grams of carbs, 34 grams of fat. Guys, I will tell you, once I order all of this stuff, I'm going to pin it to my Discord in the health section. I think we might have a health section. I'm going to pin it to my Discord and name it Gotcha Smacks Meal uh, Prep. That way, you guys, in case we forget everything, I'll at least have it in the Discord so y'all can see everything, okay? We're almost done. We're wrapping it up. Uh, this is 41 grams of carbs, 37 grams of protein, and high, very high in fat. I'm not a big fan of that one. That one's an, that one's that a, one is, okay. That's it is. So that's a pass. That's where the fat is. Butter. Oh yeah. So you can, well, if they're sending it to you though, you can't even take the butter off. Maybe you can, maybe they send it with the butter, uh, in a separate packaging. One thing about this guys, you can heat it up or put it in the oven. It's, you're not cooking this. These meals are, you can heat them up or put them in the oven. You don't have to cook them like some of the, some of the other brands out there. Uh, I personally don't mind cooking, but you might be somebody that has an issue with that. Me personally, if a meal prep company sends me something with the ingredients already there and I just cook it, that's, I have no problem with this whatsoever. <laughs> I have no issue with that. But for some of y'all, you might not want to cook at all. That would be a good selling point for this company as well. Factor 75. So, uh, this is an option though. Uh, let me see. What else do they have? We're, we got what? Two more meals. Oh, potato, bacon, egg breakfast. Ooh. We we chose a number of breakfast options, right? Oatmeal. I think, yeah, we chose oatmeal and in the in the pancake. the pancakes. So we need one more, I guess. I want to talk to them about what we do already, which is this. Uh, guys, there's something me and Bubs already do that's so convenient. Like we love convenience, don't we? So y'all see this picture right here, the family style feta and roasted red pepper frittata. How was that, Buck? That was good. That was good. <laughs> uh, That's this extra. 13 grams, three grams of. Uh, wait, bro, this is low, low. Oh, this is a little snacky snack. Okay. This, this calorie smart carb content. 
vegetarian. So you can eat multiple of them, which I know I would. I'm not eating one of these. Ain't no way in hell. I'm eating two of these. So if I eat two of them, 26 grams of carbs, six grams of carbohydrate. I mean, I'm bad. 26 grams of protein, six grams of carbs, 26 grams of fat. Ooh, so the fat, honestly, that's not bad. Oh, and I would say because carbs, you probably need a slice of toast. Yeah. On the side. Yeah, yeah. So you can, yeah, okay, so you can up the carbohydrate content with a slice of toast. I like that. What, what I was going to say to y'all with me and Bubs, go ahead and explain them because you're the one who, like, who thought of it with the, with the eggs and the what freaking muffin doing? thinky. Well, I do it in a muffin pan um, and or I do it in, like a baking pan. All I do is mix eggs, chopped up onions, bell peppers, spinach, sometimes of ham or bacon. Um, any vegetable you can think of, we whisk it all together, put some cheese in it, and then we pour it in each of the muffin tins and throw it in the oven 20 minutes at 375, and then they come out looking like that. Or if you do it in the pan, it looks exactly like that. Long story short, you get some eggs, you put all the vegetables in them, and then you just don't throw them in the muffin thingy. You know how you make muffins? You throw eggs in there in the muffin thingy instead, and then you have a breakfast, and it's so convenient. You just put it in the oven, what was it, 15 minutes? 20 minutes in the oven and you got your breakfast laid out for the next three days at least if you single that might be the whole week <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's it's really clutch it's very similar to this picture right here guys so i like this as a bref breakfast option just because of the convenience um so it's nice muffin thingy yeah what's yeah. that called <laughs> no 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 what's the muffin thingy called the muffin pan is it a muffin pan is that what it's called okay <laughs> Yeah, guys, I know I'm not good with names. All right, that's another breakfast. Let's pick one muffin tin. There we go. Let's pick one more, and uh, and then we'll call it a day on the meals, okay? And then we'll get into the Honkai Star Rail content for today. Thank you for joining me, by the way, Bub. I appreciate it. Uh, roasted red pepper and basil badamundi. What in the name is that? Was it chicken, garlic, and cauliflower? I mean, I'm, I'm open-minded to what they have. Oh, it's gourmet. It's the gourmet plus. We got to stay away from that. Creamy garlic chicken thighs and roasted mushrooms. Let's Another chicken. Black oh, blackened salmon. Yeah, that's good. This is going to be high in fat. Salmon is naturally high in fat. Oh, my God. Okay. This is probably, oh, it's keto. You know what? I'm not going to say no to this, though. You can make this work. You really can. It just depends on how much fat you've had for the day, guys. If you've had a lot of fat, fine. But honestly, this is quite, this look good as hell. God damn, this look good. No, bro. Lord have mercy. And it's cauliflower. Ooh, cauliflower. What? You can, cauliflower can guise itself as everything. I know it's insane. Like because that's how that's why the carbohydrate is so low because it's cauliflower. Yeah, I, I like this meal. I think I'll pick this as the, as the last one. How bad is fake sugar? Fake sugar is actually one of the better options when people are trying to. Uh, monitor actual sugar intake. It's the 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 health benefits of it are all like micronutrient. I mean micro uh yeah micronutrient oriented, uh which is like health, but not it's not with regards to like gaining weight or anything like that. It's really more so what is it, babe? Like causing uh cancer, which is like you know that's an argument in a lot of different realms. But they, they'll, they'll hit you with the cause cancer. Fake sugar can cause Fake cancer. Fake sugar causes cancer. But there is also science that says it's cause your like Okay, and water retention too. Bloatation and water retention, yes. big time. The biggest turn off for me with fake sugar, uh, fake sugar is how bloated I get when I, when, I, when I have fake sugar. I'll give you a case in point. I used to put the, uh, the little, uh, like, yeah, the powder in water. And me and her were doing that, bro, burping out the ass, drinking. I mean, like, I, I couldn't even eat meals because I was just so freaking bloated. So that's one of the biggest turnoffs for me for fake sugar, most importantly. But then there's some of that stuff she, uh, she mentions up as well. All right. Anyways, that's meal number eight. All right. So what I would like y'all to, uh, to do is let's do a invite to the Discord. I'm going to post it in chat. Invite people. Uh, copy. Wait, edit link. No, never expire. Never. No limit. Generate new link. Copy button. All right. Full beans. All right, so guys, we can... Yeah, Bubba, you can go ahead and get out of here. Thank you. Um, we can go back to Honkai Star Rail. Give me a second. 
with this little bit. Make it your fat head ass out the way, boy. All right. Here's the uh, here's the link. Join the Discord, guys. Um, and if you're if you want to, you don't have to. If you remember, you, you have to be in the United States. Most importantly, if you're not in the United States, completely disregard hitting the link. <laughs> but if you're in the United States, join the Discord. Click on this link right here. You'll have 50% off your uh, first box, and then going forward, you got 20% off the next month, which is really nice. Um, no pressure. I don't like selling people on stuff where you have to spend your money. Most importantly, I was just honored to do a. Uh, an educational stream pertaining to your health but it does support me obviously if you end up ordering it because you're genuinely interested go for that um damn i gotta put those meals down i hope y'all remember those eight meals because i, sh I should have been writing them down i guess we could do that real quick right before we get into honkai star rail y'all want me to write the meals down real quick right here next to it yeah Yes. Okay. Let me do that real quick. Let me, okay. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Do it. I got you. Let's come back here. All right. Black and salmon. Boom. Very nice. Let's do that on stream real quick. Uh, black and salmon. We'll, do, we'll just do like a little comma ordeal. We're going to speed run this shit, guys. All right. Shredded chicken bowl. Yes. I like that one. Shredded chicken taco bowl. All right, let's do the other one. YouTube premium is easy life. It is zero cycle note taking. <laughs> uh, you guys are fucking hilarious, man. All right, roasted garlic. That was another one I liked a lot. I'll organize it later, guys, when I end stream so that and I'll put the uh, I'll put the, the, the ingredients there in case you want to try and cook it yourself. Um, and I'll also explain like on a quick little note when you should eat that meal quick question go ahead shoot it <clears throat> i am not a chef yeah i hear you oh we miss blueberry pancakes that's probably a good one vanilla overnight oats Ooh. you can just write it all on a note and then send it later in a message that's what i'm gonna do but i, I at least want to put down the meals i chose first is the shredded chicken bowl the hyper carry of this team? <laughs> it is. <laughs> can you not follow instructions? You can. I just, you know, you, people like to have things right there, just a little bit more easily digestible. So uh, that's all. I just want to make sure they're having an easier time with things. That's all, man. Um, I think we ended up choosing cheesy ground beef and cabbage. Didn't we? Did we choose this? No, that was way too high in fat. We didn't choose that one. Uh, give me a second, chat. Bear with me. I'm fine. I'm trying to look for that oatmeal. Where the hell's the oatmeal at? Here it is. Blueberry. Yes. Blueberry maple overnight oats. That was, an, that was another one. Boom. There we go. We got one, two, three, four. We got four more to choose from. Hold on, chat. Sorry. I, I can't multitask worth a damn. So if I start reading y'all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose track of what the hell I was doing. <laughs> Give me a second and pardon my inability to do so. All right. We had... Uh, spicy didn't we go for this chorizo and plubano pico bowl let me look at it carbohydrate protein yeah we did we did go for this inert risotto for himiko fucking a <laughs> inert risotto all right there we go i think we had another breakfast option uh let me go back Mr. Smack, I seem to die a lot in MOC. I have Lorch on my team. My character's a level 70 and light cone 70 or 60. Is there anything I can do to not die? It sounds like you're underinvested, buddy. If I'm being honest, you might just need to do a little more grinding, uh, which is fine, you know? Tomato cream and rosemary chicken fusilli. I feel like we might have done this. Um, I can't remember if we did that one or not. Oh, we definitely did this. I remember it because the damn name. Protein. Yeah, this was, a, this was an amazing option. This was an amazing option. I remember that. We definitely chose that one. All right. And then the final one, chat, hold on. You know how long the meals take to heat up? Let's go over one. Let's just click on it. Look at this. Let's scroll down here. Read more. Uh, where's it at? Show instructions. Here we go. Here we go, right here. 
Uh, it says seven minutes, bro. <laughs> seven minutes. If needed, continue to bake for two to four more minutes. Yeah, there you go. And then you have high for two minutes. If you don't even want to deal with the oven, you can just go with microwave. They're all going to be the same thing, pretty much. Okay, let me go back to what I was doing. Oh, I remember now. We had the, uh, I remember. We had this right here, sticky pecan pancakes. Ooh, yummy. Yummy. Okay, I think that's it, right? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, we got one more. We got one more. I think I did choose that one. Where's it at? I think I did choose... Uh... Let me go to the other one. I think I, choose, I think I did choose this one. Tomato, cream, and rosemary. Didn't I? Did I? 41 grams. Of, ooh, that's high. I think I said this was an iffy option. You can make it work, though. Fritta? Was it Fritta? Where's Fritta at? The muffin thingy? Oh, the muffin thingy. That is. You're right. My bad. Okay. You can that one I was looking at though, guys. As long as you monitor your fat intake, you should be fine with it as well. Uh, all right, those are all. Okay. Uh, anyways, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, guys, you'll be there. Uh, let me just let my mods know that. Uh, oh shit. Holy leaks, guys. I apologize. <laughs> Fuck me. Hold on, chat. Disregard that. All right, let's see here. Um... Mods, here we go might have might have might have rapid joins due to stream i like to let my, my mods know so they don't think like a raid's happening <clears throat> okay let's go ahead and get into today's content Factor. Jesus, guys, I got like 74 things up at once. My brain is in overdrive mode. Okay. Leroy! Jenkins chat thanks again for tuning into that and a uh, huge shout out to factor 75 for sponsoring today's video let's go ahead and get into it pull that up here move me down here okay one of the first things uh let me go ahead and start up a fresh recording here <clears throat> I don't need this to be so close one of the first things I want to do, guys, is pull up over here, go over here. Perfect. I want to talk to you guys about the damage difference between a crit damage body and a defense body on Adventure Rain. I remember I already had told y'all that the damage difference is so negligible that if you go for a defensive body, it won't be the end of the world. And I want to prove that on stream because you had a lot of uh elitist nerds telling me that i wasn't cooking for recommended a defense body over a crit damage body as if you were going to do way less damage but let's let's go over this you know like i told y'all we're going to address every single thing that we talked about and we're going to prove it why because i am the ultimate prove it to your face type of individual uh let's go ahead and do this um bada bing bada 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 boom all right so let's look at this we have a defensive body we have a defensive boot we have 
an imaginary damage boost sphere because that's that's all I have. I don't have a good defensive option. And then we're gonna put on a where's it at? Where's it at? Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Just to have the whole set bonus. We're also going to do energy recharge. And I'm going to show you all the value of energy recharge rope versus defensive rope. Because there were people doubting that too. Mr. Pokey. You thought I didn't know? Yep. We going to see. UNCN said the energy regen rope is useless. Right? Not necessary. Oh, yes. Your boy don't miss nothing. See, when y'all speak out, you better make damn well certain that you know what you're talking about. Because good old Gotcha Smack here don't be having it. Oh, no. I put the money where the mouth is. Y'all know what's good on this. So we're going to go over the energy recharge rope versus the defense rope as well. And I will prove to you the value of this. Anyways, let's do this. Let's look at the damage difference between a defense body versus a crit damage body on Aventurine. Now, if you guys remember, let's see if I still have it in my notes. I believe I do. Damage percent orb, defense percent orb, damage percent orb, defense percent orb. You can go back and watch the video on that, honestly. You guys know y'all can. It was like a crit damage body versus a defense body. I shit you not. It was like maybe a thousand more damage on a basic attack and maybe like three, four hundred more damage on a follow-up attack. Something like that. Uh, which ain't groundbreaking, bro. Like, you know what I mean? This guy, as I've been telling you from the beginning, he is a absolute phenomenal sustainer, but he's not changing the meta. He's changing the comfort meta, the ability to clear content with a sustain on the team. That meta has been broken by Aventurine, right? But that's comfort. That is not anything that is going to be like game changing unless you're somebody who just don't, you ain't got no damn sustains for you. That's game changing. With that being said, let's look at Aventurine's damage with the defensive body, okay? All right, let's go up in here. Now, we got Black Swan on the team for a little defensive shred plus extra damage, which is nice. All right, hold on. Let me turn the uh, sound on. Here we go. All right, what are we going to roll? Nope. Okay, so we rolled some diamonds right there. We rolled some diamonds. Honestly, I feel like all we really need to do is just an auto attack to get the message across. Do y'all dis disagree with that? I feel like all we need to do is just do an auto attack and then look at the auto attack again with the crit damage body. Waiting means change. Maybe ult too. The percentage difference isn't going to change across all multipliers. The basic attack, the skill, and the ult. If the, uh, let me explain that to you. If there's a five percent difference in damage from the basic attack, there's going to be a five percent difference in damage for the ult. There's going to be a five percent difference in damage for the follow up. So you can take the same five percent difference and do the same thing. All right, let's let's go ahead and look at this. We're going to pop Rame ult. Okay. We're going to put a defensive shred. Boom. So now we have Rame ult activated. She's E1 too, by the way. My Rame is E1. And now we have defensive shred from Black Swan activated as well. That's 40% defensive shred. All type res pin, damage bonus. And now we look at Aventurine. And bro's defense, thanks to the technique being activated, is an extra 36%, right? So he has an extra 36% from his technique that has been activated here. That's important context as well. But you can look at all the value here. He's got Ron May's buffs activated, ignoring defense. And then the, the opponent that we're going to hit, he's also got another defensive shred on him. So with all of that, with the defensive uh, body, okay, defense body, please crit. 17,000 damage, all right? 17,000 damage. Let's get up out of here and let's see the damage difference when you put on a crit damage body. Let's see the damage difference. Swapping over to the crit damage body. You see this? Swapping over. No tricks, no gimmicks. I... 
I already calculated this on paper. It should be a thousand to fifteen hundred damage difference. All right, let's look at it. You think Aventurine is good overall for your account? Hans, I've been saying this entire time that Aventurine is absolutely amazing. He's an incredible person to pick up. I tell you, the only issue people have is that I said his damage is mid, and it is. It is 100% mid. It's just facts. Oh, we get diamonds again! They knew I was They knew I was about to do a showcase. They knew it. They knew I was going to do the showcase. They said, let's make, let's make Gotcha Smack's job easier. All things are okay. Um, do we have here? this. All right, Olten. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. Completely ignore the fact that you said he's a game changer pickup for new players. Yeah, I'm telling you, selective hearing. They only hear the things they didn't want to hear, which is wild. Like, imagine how toxic you are where you only listen to the shit you don't want to hear. It's actually insane. Okay, here we go. Same exact scenario. Same exact scenario. Look, 36% defense, same scenario. Bro's got 20% defensive shred on him. My Aventurine has a... 95% crit strike chance. So if bro doesn't crit, I'm probably going to uh, control alt delete. All right, here we go. 17K versus 17.5K. <laughs> Guys, that crit damage body, bro. Hey, that's one hell of a difference, bro. Hey, that's one hell of a difference, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey guys, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That 500, bro. Hey, that's a hell of a difference. <laughs> that shit is game changing, chat. That shit is game changing, bro. <laughs> you see? But look. Oh, oh, but hold up, hold up. But Gotcha Smack ain't cooking, though. Gotcha Smack don't know shit. He don't know what he's talking about. Bro, bro's over there with L take. Shut your dumb ass up. I'm right and you're wrong. As I said it, it's a reason you watching me and I ain't watching you, bro. To all the haters out there, stay in the back with Amber. <laughs> what I say? We got it, guys. I got to start daddying up on these motherfuckers every single time a character comes out. Because if I don't, then they run away with the narrative that I'm talking out my ass. So we got to start doing this like this now. Now I got to be annoying and say, remember when you said I did? I, remember when you said I was wrong about this? Okay, look here. Let me prove it. Let me prove it. I got to start doing this shit going forward. Chat. Seriously. I got to. Bro, look. Look at this cope. Look at this cope. Bro said check the rest of the stats. The crit damage chest had no defense. Stolberg. Cope harder, little pup. Cope harder, little pup. You know what a defense sub is going to do to that? You know what it's gonna do? It's gonna give you another 100 damage, bro. <laughs> That's what it's gonna do, bro. God damn. Cope harder, dog. Lord have mercy. All right, let me see. <clears throat> so look, this is my crit damage body. This is my crit damage body. By the way, I need you guys to understand. If you're gonna make the argument that the... uh. If, if you're going to make the argument that the defense body has better sub stats, know that that's just the benefit of having defense. The benefit of having defense is you can get crit rate and crit damage. That's a W. This, you can only roll crit rate. And look, I even have attack percent on it. But Adventurine don't, look, don't use attack percent. What you want me to do about that? But this is an L of rocking crit damage body. You can't get crit rate, crit damage, and sub stats. However, with defense, you can. Which is a w, which is a W. Either way... You put a defense and swap this out for 8% more defense. You know what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen? I, I can tell you. I calculate this. I, I does this. Bro, you're going to get a tops. I'll shit you not. 300 more damage, maybe. So you'll be doing, instead of 17.5, you'll be doing maybe 17.8. Like maximum, maybe 18K. Like it's not, it's not game changing. Now you can take that. I'll, I'll answer the question for you guys because I did only do a basic attack. What would change if I did his ultimate? His ultimate, it would probably be 45k 45k old versus probably like i shit you not dead ass 47k old 48k old that's the difference between a crit damage body and a goddamn defense body i i know these numbers a lot of y'all 
only met gotcha smack and hawkeye star rail for the people who've been around for a long time i've been doing this shit since the beginning of genshin impact guys i just i know their formula as well that's why I, when i say shit like oh that character's weakness is he doesn't have a damage present body it's because i've been doing this shit for a long ass fucking time bro like, i'm not talking out my ass <clears throat> comparing alone damage when you're playing four units I'm a new player. I started five days before. Are you hitting 4K defense with the crit damage body if you already have 4K defense? Well, look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Where's he at? So crit damage body. Look, look. Defense. Imaginary defense. Right? What do you want me to do? If I, if I swap defense here, then I lose the imaginary damage bonus. I did go here just to make up for the defense. That's another uh l for rocking crit damage body now you look bro i got your pards light cone on which is the second highest defense base threshold if bro ain't got 4k that's because he's rocking the crit damage body man like that there's nothing i can do about that look at my defense here substat 8.6 percent right look at my defense here 10.2 percent it's not like i ain't got no defensive substats bro we out here uh 55 flat right there 16 flat Every piece almost has defense, so I have solid defensive substats on it. Anyways, I'm not gonna spend every time trying to help you guys cope with the fact that your uh, your favorite content creator was probably wrong about defense and crit damage bodies. You can cope about that. We're gonna move on now. The next thing I want to talk to y'all about is energy recharge rope. Pokey himself said it was useless, and then he used CN. Like I ain't got my own intelligence to figure out what's good and what's not good. He said, CN says energy recharge rope is useless. I want to give you a scenario where energy recharge rope is literally better. Let's talk about it. First of all, I'm going to take this booty cheek ass crit damage piece off, right? And we're going to put on a defense body because don't nobody need no crit damage. Then I'm going to take off this defense piece and we're going to put on an energy recharge rope. Where are we at? Where that energy recharge rope at? Hold up. Give me a second. Here we go. Look at this. Holy, holy defense substat. Holy defense substat. Now, I want to be clear here before we proceed forward. I want to be clear here. If we're going to argue about swapping off energy recharge and defense pieces, if we're going to argue about this, we must be talking about meta, right? We must be talking about being optimal. So if we're going to talk about meta, then we're talking about getting sweaty. We're talking about getting efficient runs. So resets are going to be a thing in this in this situation. But here's my main argument. If you rock an energy recharge rope on Aventurine and he gets hit twice and he autos his ults up. If you rock a defense rope on Aventurine and he gets hit once or no, he gets hit twice again and he autos, his ult is not up. That is just absolute factuals. We're going to prove it here and show it. So he gets hit twice with an auto attack with ER rope, ults up. If he gets hit twice with a uh, basic attack and is he's rocking defense, the ult is not up. This is a massive game changer. It is a massive game changer. Because now you can ult, then auto, and have 30 energy as opposed to having 5 energy. So it's, it's massive. So let's go ahead and look at this. Wait, what are we rocking first? I already forgot. Okay, so we have ER rope, energy regeneration rate. This is going to be annoying to test. I do have Japart Light Cone, so it's going to make things a lot easier. But it's going to be annoying to test because now I have to do it for two different scenarios. I have to do it with a defense rope and then an energy recharge rope, and he has to hit. He has to get hit twice. Sorry, guys. Grandpa Smack hiding the screen. My bad. My bad. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. By the way, I have no idea how many of y'all are on YouTube. I just don't know. Like, how many people are on the YouTube chat? There's literally no way for me to know with my current setup. All right, hearts, hearts, 800. Holy shit, y'all got more people on YouTube than I have on Twitch. What the fuck, bro? What the hell have I been doing? That is nasty work. That is nasty work. All right, so 4K is for the max crit rate. Yeah, yeah he's pretty much there. All right, so guys, if, uh, if Aventurine doesn't get hit twice, if he doesn't get hit twice, we're going to reset. That's simple. Because I, I want to prove to y'all how the ER rope is better than the defensive rope. So let's go ahead and look at this. Um, We'll just do this. Oh, God, please speed that up. Speed that up. Why isn't the Venturine in the middle? I have a skill issue. That's it. There's nothing else to say about it. I have a skill issue. All right, here we go. 
auto attack and hopefully he gets hit twice oh shit hold on who cares hit a venturine please once here we go that's the beauty of the Japar light cone twice 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 no hit a venturine brother come on bro don't make me work harder than i need to holy ron may fat head ass <laughs> shit is so cringe <sighs> it shouldn't be too hard with Japar's light cone. This is one of the beautiful things about Japar's light cone. Ron May also needs energy. <laughs> yes, she does. That's true. All right, here we go. One more time. Here we go. God damn it! Why not just solo event? Like I said, guys, I'm an idiot. That's why. That's it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> See, sometimes I be wilding, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, here we go. Oh, fuck me, man. All right, so we got one. Here we go. Two. And then you ready? You ready? You ready? Whoever said that, you're a fucking genius. Look, voila. Voila! Boom! Power of the ER rope. Power of the ER rope. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Now, let's swap over to the defense rope. Let's swap over to the defense rope. Jesus, bro. Whoever said that, you five headed motherfucker. Thank you so much. Because my dumb ass would have been over here praying on RNG. Honestly, I feel like it would have happened in the next like, uh, like turn or two. But it's not a big deal. Because I'm just trying to show y'all. This is what we do anyway on a sweaty level, bro. We're resetting our asses off for the good scenarios. One. Here you go. Look at this ER. Two. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this sad reality right here. You ready for this? Look. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. If only he had an ER rope on, bro. Oh, man. That's rough. That's rough. No type of energy. <laughs> Now you got a, now you got a whole latest shit. <laughs> hey, with your part like on, it's amazing. Oh shit. Sprightly Von Wack, it's not gonna fill it up. And even then that's cope. It, it, it's not gonna fill it up. Sprightly Von Wack still won't fill that up. Let's try it though. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's try Sprightly. Even then, if this does end up being true, that definitely wasn't the argument made by anybody else. Let's see, Sprightly Von Wack. Just throw whatever the fuck on him, who cares? Energy, nope. Break effect. Let's just do, just throw some random shit on him. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Isn't it recommended to skill first time? Who the, who the hell said that? Who said that? Let's see if Sprite can do it. All right. All right. Hey, you said Sprite. Let's see if it does it. No. Oh, oh. Cope harder, little pup. Cope harder, little pup. Oh, oh. Nah, bro. That defense ain't where it's at, bro. Oh. Yeah, man. I told you, bro. Skill kit work and butcher your skill point funneling on whatever team you're running. Why would you do that? Cope harder, guys. Cope harder. The truth is, you hate to admit that Gotcha Smack was right as usual. And that's okay. You know what? I'm used to it. I'm used to you motherfuckers being in denial. All right. So, the next thing I want to show y'all is why I said Aventurine's damage is mid. When we look at... When, we, when I make an analysis on a character, I don't care. Because this is an argument a lot of people were making. A lot of people were making why compare his damage to damage dealers and not sustainers. And, and then, then they said, this makes no sense. I would disagree. I would say what makes no sense is comparing damage to sustainers that don't deal damage. It just doesn't make sense. Here's the thing. I, I, I ask you this. When you deal damage with a sustainer and you go in the MLC, does the MOC say save one cycle if you deal damage with a sustainer? Better yet, 
if you deal damage with a sustainer is there something in the game that says this damage with the sustainer has an increased multiplier because if it doesn't say any of this then why the hell are you not comparing damage versus damage because there's no incentive here guys now if you want to say this this garbage logic of compare aventurine's damage to sustainers well then you would compare bailu's 40 percent attack boost for two turns to the party as well as her energy recharge giving ults to the party and in the grand scheme of all the multipliers did i say bailu oh fuck i said bailu i met i met scooby-doo i met scooby-doo scooby-doo is going to out dps him <laughs> If you want to do it that way. Bailu's secret buff. Guys, I didn't mean Bailu, bro. All right, listen. I didn't mean Bailu. <laughs> you know what happened, bro? I got brain rot from getting an E5 Bailu. That's what happened. I got an E5 Bailu, and now I have fucking brain rot chat. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say, guys? Huh? Bailu got you shook. Anyways, I want to go back to that. I want to stay on topic here. The reason I compare a sustainer's damage to DPS in damage is because this is a four-man game. And at the end of the day, when you finish a run, it's how much damage did you do in that run? There's no discrimination to, oh, I had a sustainer on the team. Damage is damage. Once you finish a run, how much damage occurred in that run? Period. Now, you can take a Venturine off of that comp and put in Scooby-Doo. And if Scooby-Doo has done zero damage, but her 40% attack buff and her ER caused the team to do way more damage, you leave the run, and then overall, they've done way more damage, but Scooby-Doo herself did none. Guess what? She did damage by extension through the team. This is why people say that wasn't a Yang Xing run. That was a Sparkle, Ron May, and Pella run because they did damage by extension through the dps so when you think it's a good argument to say i shouldn't compare a venturine's damage to other dps i want you to take that perfect scenario and realize that i was cooking my ass off <laughs> damage is damage so simple yet some don't get it yeah that's the reason why we have roles now at the end of the day all i'm saying guys is a venturine's damage is indeed mid does that mean Aventurine is mid? No. Bro is meta for sustainers. Bro is fan-fucking-tastic. He is literally the easiest option to use against the Aventurine boss. And there's going to be many scenarios down the road where he's going to be very valuable. That doesn't take away the fact that his damage is fucking mid. All right? I knocked that water out because I'm over here yapping. <clears throat> Bro has more passion than the fruit. I am. I'm very passionate. I'm very passionate. By the way, off topic, notice how different I am when I'm making content versus when I was talking about health and fitness earlier. It's like completely different auras, right? Like I'm much more of an asshole when I'm in content creator mode because I'm battling so many people on perspectives. But when I was in like health and fitness mode, I was way more chill, bro. <laughs> I was way more chill, I. Right? <laughs> oh my God, dude. Uh, it's like two different auras. You're still yelling at us? Was I? <laughs> Fuck me, man. <laughs> All right, guys. Anyways, I want to look at... I want to show y'all a scenario, though, where I said Aventurine's not a must-pull for veteran players. I want to show you how easy... Or not... How, I'm not going to say how easy. Just... I'll just show you a quick example. So Aventurine, Black Swan, Dr. Ratio, and um, who's the who's the other person? Oh, Ron May. Where the hell's Ron May at? Hold on, guys. Where the hell is Ron May? I'm blind, bro. There she is. Holy shit, I'm blind. <coughs> guys, don't forget about your factor uh, code up here. Get 50% off your first box and 20% off the whole month. We got to plug in our sponsor, fellas. All right, look, you just got to come over here, scroll down to the bottom of the Discord, click on this bad boy right here, get you a couple meals. These are my meals I've chosen right here, guys, all right? Hey, can't put a price on your health, baby. Factor 75, thank you for sponsoring this video. All right, look, we're going to go ahead 
and show you how Aventurine performs on this comp. I also want to show you guys some combos. Wait, what the fuck is going on here? Will these meal preps help me zero cycle? Absolutely. Absolutely, they will. Uh, wait. Ah, uh, you know what? That's fine. What is my what is my point of argument that I'm about to do? Okay, for the sake of trying to increase his damage to uh, to like look gooder, look look gooder. That's not even the word. Look better. We'll put a defensive rope on him. Fuck it. Why not? The sponsor channel is locked. Is it? Oh shit! I'm sorry, chat. Did I really lock that? Give me a second, man. Holy hell. I apologize. Permissions. Damn, I sure did forget to unlock it. Back to 75. Edit channel. Save changes. Okay. All right, let's come here. I'm about to add everyone. Wait, we'll add everyone here. Channel open for those who are in stream tuning in. All right. <clears throat> okay, thank you for telling me that. Did you prefer Aventurine in the middle or corner? I prefer him in the, in the middle. He's definitely supposed to be in the middle. My dumbass, I'm telling you, I forget every time. I, it's a skill issue. I forget every single time. Okay, so 124 speed. Um, bro's rocking the... He's looking good. He's looking good. What's she rocking? Break effect? We can probably put an ER rope on her, but I think this team is so skill point friendly, it's just not even going to matter. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. So um, we're going to do a quick little run through with this. I might do some resets to try and get a good run. Make a win. But we're going to showcase Aventurine, and then we're going to showcase this comp with Ting Yun in placement of Aventurine. And this is just to show people that there is a better option than him when you know what you're doing. That's, 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 only, that's my argument right here, which is what the argument I was making. For veteran players. I was making this argument for veteran players. Let's be clear here. <clears throat> Would you recommend pulling Zesterine? Get that 6% defense? Ah, man. What's he at? He What's he at? 36 instead? I'll be honest, man. I don't feel like rolling for that, bro. Like, that's the annoying thing. That's a negative. <laughs> that's an actual negative. All right. So let's go ahead and... Boom. 17k. Yes, good, good RNG. Hit Aventurine. Oh my, ratio. Hold on, guys. I apologize. What the hell is my ratio got on? What the fuck was that? I knew something was fishy. I knew something was, uh, bro, bro, what the hell is that damage? <laughs> Ain't no way in hell my, my, my ratio. Did you see my face chat? Chat, I was like, what the fuck is that damage? My ratio must have a fever. Bro must be sick. Bro must have woke up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> Ain't no way in hell my ratio. Not our ratio. Our ratio ain't doing that kind of... Hey, isn't that the... Wait, that was... I can I always get clubs and spades confused, bro. I swear. Doo doo damage. Okay, now we didn't get it. That's the mid one. God damn it. There's two mid ones, honestly. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Spades is blue. Alright, 17. 27. 62. Much better. And now he's not going to hit Aventurine. Oh, he still hit him. Let's go. Bro, that's your part light cone, man. That's another argument I made. I said, you don't need his signature. Just grab the Japard one. All right, y'all ready for this Wombo combo? Wait, is he still not going to have his ult up? Okay, he is. He's going to have his ult up. Great. Y'all ready for this Wombo combo? Wait, I think in order for me to do it. Ah... Uh... 
You know what? I think I can do it. Let's let's try this wombo combo out. This shit is gonna be fire if I pull it off. Okay, so. Hold on, I gotta think about this. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Aventurine has to kill this guy. Aventurine has to kill this guy. Ready? There we go. Now what we're gonna do here. Oh, this is gonna be so sick. All right, here we go. Ah, how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Yeah, this is gonna work. This is gonna work. Look, Venturine ult. Venturine ult is gonna trigger follow up. Ratio gonna assassinate the dude on the left. There you go. 52k follow up. 29 follow up. No, he still lived. Y'all said he did chip damage. No. Y'all said he did chip damage, bro. No. Look, hey chat, this is a chat perfect time to say if you had a crit damage body on, bro. It's chat perfect time, bro. <laughs> God damn it, bro. It hits his minions. Crit damage body, little bro. Now you know what? That was a I messed up on the combo. I messed up on the combo. I think what I should have did was left. Because I only did one follow-up on the guy on the left. I did one follow-up on the guy on the left, not two. So I, I actually, I think I fucked up the combo. What I'm supposed to do is make a uh, doctor ratio go all in on the guy on the left. And then the follow-ups enable him to keep popping off. He survived with 500 HP. Yeah, hold on. We're going to do this again. Yeah, that's good enough. Imp slap. You forgot to roll 60%? Yeah, I did, but it's like, I'm not trying to gamble. I'm not trying to spend all day rolling for 60%, man. I'm just, it, I'm good, Chief. I'm good. Can the sponsor thing go below your cam? Yeah, we can do that. Not a big deal. Yeah. Your best. Uh -huh. 17, good. He hit, okay, good. He hit Aventurine, good. Hey, hit Aventurine again. Nice. There we go. Okay, that guy's dying for sure this time. 100%. Okay. He's 100% dying this time. Wait, why is my ratio slower than him? I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, he's going to get delayed. Well, there we go. Oh, this is all she wrote. Oh, this is definitely all she wrote. How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? So you know what, guys? The misplay was delaying their turns with Dr. Ratio. That actually held me back last time. I think if I... Can Dr. Ratio and Aventurine kill this guy combined? Let's see. Red Rom may break. 36K? Oh, you got to finish this off. You got to finish this off without using your old, bro. Oh, that's easy. That's GG's. Hey, there it is. There it is. Okay, now. Memories are ever changing. Beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Now here, we're going to pop Dr. Ratio ult. Right? Then... We're going to defensive shred. The oct ratio follows up. Yes, sir. Oct ratio follows up again. Sure, I'll play along. Oh, hit, hit, please, please, please hit my aventurine. Please hit my aventurine. He hit him. Look at it. Oh my God, it's so clutch. Oh. That's that Jampar light cone. That's that Jampar light cone. But see, this is the problem with Aventurine. He's just not strong enough to close that gap. But this is still a great Aventurine showcase. You know what I mean? Let me, uh, let me get up here. Bro, 
Oh, he missed the crit. Oh my god. Oh, Ron may hold up again. This is huge. How do I want to do that? Can Ron may make them go twice again? Probably not. I don't think she can make them go twice again. We'll do it anyway. Now pop Rame out to advance everyone forward. Oh, my black swan almost went inside of there, bro. Not enough debuffs. Okay, so we, we, we kind of stepped into the next cycle. That's okay, man. Two cycles are still nice. But guys, this is what I'm trying to tell you. You, you don't have a good two-piece and you're running a two-piece, two-piece. I agree his damage isn't deep. Oh my God, bro. This is cope, bro. All right, guys, listen. Listen, man. You can, you can nitpick. That's fine. You're right. I don't have the perfect adventuring build. Neither does 99.9% .9 of the entire community, brother. All right. You can nitpick. Just know you're nitpicking the entire community. If I ain't a content creator who plays this game every goddamn day, if I ain't got it, what do you think a lot of people feel like, bro? Like, dear God, man, what's with the cope? I don't get it. Why do y'all have to cope so hard? It's okay to say bro's damage is mid. He should be mid as a sustainer. It's okay. Bro got the finisher. Or maybe I'll take it off. I failed. All right, so solid little two cycle clear there. Solid little two cycle clear. Now we're going to sub his ass out for a Ting Yun. All right, we're going to sub his ass out for a Ting Yun, guys. Let's see what this difference is going to be. In fact, let's just take this off of Ron May. I don't need double DDD. I don't need people making excuses that I have double DDD on. So let's just give Ron May her break effect light cone. And let's. We're, we're going to hostage Ron May ult. This is the this is the value of a Ting Yun on the team. This is the value of it. All right. We're going to one tap this shit with a Ting Yun on the team. You learn to know yourself before your <laughs> cool. Make a win. Tell me. Was that an S4, Branya? Yep. And and I, I shit you not, three of them were completely free through the gotcha. Now watch the difference when you put a Ting Yun on the team, guys, okay? One of the values of Ting Yun, Ron May doesn't even have to use her ult. She can save it entirely for the next cycle. She can save it entirely. You don't even have to use it. Or you just use it, like, right when the turn's about to end. You'll see what I mean. So we're going to buff up my boy. Look at that damage. Oh my god! Land a crit, bro! Yeah, look at that damage, guys. Bro, bro missed the crit. We'll see if we can still do it. I hate, I hate when people miss a crit, bro. How you gonna miss a crit, dog? How you gonna do me like that? Alright, let's go ahead and... What I was going to do, what I was going to do, Mike. All right, all right, all right, all right. Insane damage? Yeah, exactly. All right, here you go. Y'all ready for this? Oh, we're missing an auto. Ting Yun's supposed to be inside. Ting Yun's supposed to be inside. She was going to auto attack and kill him. We're missing one auto. That's it. See, he still has the, the, the fucking uh, shit on him. Ting Yun needs to be inside. I just realized my Ting Yun doesn't have a sprightly Von Wack. That's literally it. That, I shit you not, that's literally it. Yeah, so you auto attack him. Even with the missed crit, he's still dead. Still dead? 
And then Ting Young auto attacks him. We'll do it again. It's fine. It's fine. So about Venturine, listen, once I swap this sprightly Von Weck in, we'll go back to you. We'll go back to you to that comment. All right. All right, little pup. We'll go back to that comment. Okay, here we go. Now we're good to go. All right, here we go. I wonder what <laughs> cool. Make a win. For the theater of the mediocre. Bitch slap. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. Big dick in time. Big dick in time. Is your ratio on the wrong chest or some shit? Dude's crit sub 70. Who's gonna tell him? Who's gonna tell him? Who's gonna tell him, guys? Clearly, bro wasn't in here earlier. Ah, oh, fuck! I, I hit Rame's ult too early. God damn it. That's unfortunate. Hey, uh, thanks, Salty. I appreciate it, buddy. All right, here we go. All right, Ratio, can you crit, bro? Please. Please, bro. Please, please, please. Thank you. Crit again. Please, please, please. Thank you. Thank you, my guy. All right, let's go ahead and uh, throw this on him. So... Ting Yun should still be able to go uh, three times. However, I didn't think about it. That was, that could be. I could just auto attack right now, but I want to save it for after the Ron Mail. Please, just don't both hit Aventurine, please. I mean, Doctor Ratio. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, here we go. I think we're good now. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Here you go. Now things are about to get interesting. Look at that damage, boys. Look at that damage, boys. You saw that? I know I did. Hmm. 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 I actually misplayed that. I misplayed the shit out of that, but it's all good. Ting Young was supposed to go one more time to get her ult up right here. I misplayed the shit out of that. Unfortunate. <clears throat> Probably still won't matter though, honestly. Okay, so at this particular point, I think what needs to happen. I regret not getting Black Swan. I had guaranteed but baited myself. Yeah, I missed. I, I scuffed my run by not activating Ting Young's ult. Um, there's. I was suffering from success, pretty much. This, this is scuffed. I, I didn't even put defensive shred on him with Black Swan. Yeah, that's, that's a reset, 100%. But see, this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. If you know what the fuck you're doing, the damage difference is night and day. Like, it's just way too fucking strong. All right, let's see if we can do this the right way. Uh, 
All right, that's fine. Good. This part is tricky because it's easy to fuck up. So we go here with ratio. And we have to make sure we finish with Ting Yun. We didn't do that last time. And because of that, we got scuffed. So here's what we have to do. He missed the crit there. Who cares? Who cares? We're going to auto attack this guy right here. All right. Just don't hit Ting Yun twice, please. Please. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Ting Yun with her 300% tot, bro. <laughs> Holy, that's so annoying, bro. <laughs> ah. Eminator of fucking taunt value, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, here we go. Boom, one more time. All right, here we go. All right, we landed the crit that time. Very nice. Are right, we going to land the crit here? Doesn't matter if we do or don't. He's, he's dead regardless. All right, just don't hit Ting Yun twice. Oh, bro, I swear I will uninstall. I will un. Thank you. Thank you. Holy. All right, here we go. So this time, we're going to do things correctly. But let's go ahead and auto. Yep, yep. Now, right here, everything should fall into place perfectly. Everything should fall into place perfectly. Yeah. All right. Ratio should be able to kill him. He just has to crit. That's it. He just has to crit. Bro, bro didn't crit. He still killed him. All right. And here you go. This is what I was telling you about. Now we've done everything perfect. Now everything is in perfectly in motion. Wow! Get him out of there. Here you go. Here you go, chat. Now we talking. Now we talking. All right. Now we cooking. Now we cook, 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 cooking up in this bad boy. All right. So we gotta be we gotta be careful here too, though. It's like, I mean, Doctor Ratios like his wombo combos can be tricky. It'd be hurting my head thinking about that shit. I'd be like, oh, <laughs> so I can easily misplay right here, Chad. I have to remind myself what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> All right, let's think about this for a second. Let's auto attack. Yeah. From here. I think we can ult after ratio ults. I think that's the best way to go about it. Yeah, we, oh, we have to, oh, we have to get the epiphany. We have to get the epiphany. We have to uh, go ham on Yang Xing's turn. That's what it is. All right, here we go. This is gonna be one hell of a wombo. Ting Young Buff gonna run out. Shit, I didn't think about that. You're right. No need to rush. Patience breeds success. I did not think about that. How did I mismanage my skill points? I, I, I must have misplayed earlier. No, if you ult quick. Now, I, I want to get the Epiphany buff from Black Swan. You know what? I don't think I need it. I don't think I need it. And that's the power of Ting Yun. You see what I'm saying? That's the power 
of Ting Yun. You see what I'm saying? You don't need a Venturine when you got a goddamn Teen Yun, a Sparkle, a, a fucking uh, a Ron May, a Pella. You just slap them in and look at that. Look at that, boys. You will clear in one less cycle, but take 10 more times in real life. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Because that is an argument you make. Let's let's do it again. Because once you master it, that's that's what you that's where you forget. Once you master it, not a problem. All right. You said I'm gonna take 10 times? Okay, little pup. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Hey, fuck it. You said I'll take 10 times. Well, shit. Maybe I'll take 10 times. All right, cool. Bro said you gotta take 10 times. Here it is. Here it is. Ooh. All right. No, I'm saying good little buff there. Flop. There it is. There it is, little pup. Blop. There it is. Uh, didn't crit. That's okay. Hey, hey, we got it down pat now, guys. We got it down pat. Just don't hit Ting Yun, please. All right, cool. That's fine. All right, don't hit Black Swan twice, please. I don't think it matters. That combo was so dangerously powerful. I don't even think it matters. Like, bro, Yang Shin got baptized, bro. Bro got straight baptized. <laughs> that shit is ridiculous, bro. <laughs> Dr. Ratio way too goddamn strong sometimes, bro. Like that shit is actually crazy. All right, here we go. So we're going to go here buff him up there it is we're gonna go here we're gonna re-up all right you said i couldn't do it again little pup is that what you said you show sure? you sure you want to say that hey man you sure you want to say that because uh you know it looked to me like it's about to happen again i'm just saying He missed the crit there. God damn it. Uh. Uh. Oh, no. Ooh. That no crit. It's okay. Look, look, look how much more damage we still have. It's fine. It's actually completely fine. Dr. Razio, finish it off without the Ting Young buff. Uh, what'd you say? Hey, what'd you say, bro? I thought you said I couldn't do it again. I thought you said I was going to take 10 times. What happened? You want me to do it 10 more times for you, bro? You want me to do it 10 more times for you? <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Oh, my God, man. Listen, bro. Everything I said about Aventurine was true. Now, you might not want to admit that to yourself, little pup. And that's okay. But the truth is the truth. Now, Bantam, it's all right, man. I'm not tripping. I told you, ain't nothing more empowering than proving, than walking the walk. You know, they yap. They yap. I walk the walk. I will stand by this. Venturine is amazing. But bro is a comfort option, not a meta option. He is only a meta option if you're trying to play at the best comfort level possible. And to that, I respect. But don't be coming at me because I'm over here saying his damage is mid. Now, here's the thing. We're going to get into a little bit of foresight territory. I think Aventurine is going to be absolutely amazing with Robin. And I think he has some potential with a certain comp to get close to the meta with it. To get close to it. But, you know, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Leakers, what you talking about? I didn't say anything. I said, I think he has potential to be Gober Robin. What are you talking about? What the, what's that supposed to mean? I didn't even say anything. How am I leaking? Chat, what the fuck y'all talking about? Y'all yapping. Hey, how many viewers are we at on YouTube out of curiosity? I'm at um, 700 on Twitch. How many are we at on YouTube?
Where we at? Where we at, chat? 859? 850? What up, YouTube? Hey, man, I appreciate y'all coming to the first stream on YouTube, man. I really do. Appreciate that. Uh, what's something else you guys want to know about Aventurine? Hmm? What's something else y'all want to know about him? Is he zesty? He's he's bro. That bro is zest. <laughs> bro is extra zesty with a side of zest. How does he perform against Aventurine himself? He is the best option in the game as a sustain, simply because he can just beef through everything Aventurine does. So Aventurine can do all his little like RNG gambling shenanigans, but your Aventurine is just gonna put a thick ass shield on, bro, and say, "Yeah, is that it? Is that it?" Can he resist Kafka stuff? Well, he gives your whole team a fat amount of effect resistance, increasing their chances exponentially. But no, he doesn't guarantee it. You Kafka will very much still seduce the shit out of somebody on your team because she has a very high effect hit rate and base chance to do it. Have you tried him on Golden Gears due to Hilarious? Hey, see, and that's another thing I said. Remember, guys, you can go back and watch all the shit. I said people often sleep on Swarm Disaster, Golden Gears, and futuristic modes like that. Where I, And I said, I think of Venturian Preservation Path. Did I not say this? Am I talking out my ass here? I said, bro, it's probably going to be meta. I said it already. I talked about it at length. But again, selective hearing will make people not, not hear that part. I literally said, bro, as a pr preservation in those modes is probably meta. I said that shit. Dead ass. Oh, yeah, let's see your dude in g and I want to see how dumb it actually is. Okay, I have a confession to make, chat. And that confession is, um... Yeah, we, uh... We still got some work to do on the uh, Golden Gears, you know? Um... We got a... We need a little more preparation, you know? Golden Gears, yeah, you know... Uh, yeah. <laughs> chat, I just said... I did the bare minimum on that shit, bro. All right, look, let me show y'all, bro. I did the bare minimum on that shit, bro. Hold up. SU is the real end game. It really is, man. It's just ch chat. I be so fucking busy these days, man. Ah, uh, you know, I be so goddamn busy these days, bro. That shit is time consuming. Where's it at? All right, here we go. Look, this is what my golden gear is looking like. Damn, I got to knock that out too. All right, my golden gears. Yeah, look. I'm on conundrum level four. Why you hating? Hey, look, hold up. Why y'all talking shit? Why you got to type the number out? Why you got to type the number out, chat? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? What's that about? Farther than me? I haven't, duh, I shit you not, guys. You know how many times I've done Golden Gears? You know how many times I've done it? Maybe like, I shit you not, maybe four or five times. I'm, I'm not even making this up. I think I've done it. I one tapped it. I think I did it like three or four times, bro. I shit you not. I don't know. Like four or five, somewhere around there. Defense or imaginary orb? Takes so long that it puts me off. I'll tell you right now, if you're doing this shit, do you definitely want to go all defense like I said? Why would you go imaginary orb? Do it now with Zesty? Chat, type one if y'all want me to do Golden Gears with Zesty. Type two if you want me to do something else. Damn, y'all actually want to see this. That's a lot of ones. That is a lot of ones. Hey, why didn't y'all tell me I, I took chat out of the damn... Oh, man. Chat, y'all was off the screen the whole time. Oh, that's not good, man. Ah. How you gonna put us off the screen? I mean, y'all could have told me shit. I wasn't paying attention. I've been telling you that? All right, well, my bad. When I get in content creator mode, I be focused on the content. He said, but we not on screen. Like, like, <laughs> you can definitely clear Conundrum 12 easily smack. 
We got off screen like Ifrit. <laughs> See, hey, look, look, my Twitch audience knows that I be doing grandpa shit. They know. They're accustomed to it. I be over here like this is how I be on Twitch. I be like, yo, chat, y'all see this shit? Y'all this damn is crazy, bro. Look at God damn, you see that chat? Bro, bro, look at this. Oh my chat. <laughs> they be like, nigga, if you don't get your fat head ass off the screen, we can't see. <laughs> that shit is hilarious, dog. <laughs> fat head ass in the way 99% of the time. <laughs> I know, dog. It's crazy, man. Chat in the shadow realm with Venturi. All right, look, chat. We will do this, but before we do, we got to come together. All right, chat. We got to come together. All right, listen, look, 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 look. We got to come together. This is our sponsor. We have a 30 minute sponsor. Just look, 30 minutes. Just 30. All right, you see this? Hey, 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 look, chat. This is our sponsor, okay? Look, let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. <laughs> chat, let me cook. If you reach level seven, all right, I got to pull this up. Look, let me cook. Just hear me out. Just hear me out, chat. You know that to hear me out, bro. Just hear me out chat hear me out all right here here hear me out ha uh, look if you reach level seven i will give you an account review there's no cap on this i do not do account reviews anymore this is the only time i will ever do an account review if you reach level seven i will owe you an account review now look here look here this is how it's going to work. All right, we're going to put this shit up in 4K HD. You have to use this link. All right? Smack, get your fat head ass out the way. You have to click this link. It has to be on your mobile device. Okay? If it's not on the mobile device, it don't count. And all you got to do is reach level 7. We are going to play this for 30 minutes. It's not that bad, guys. It's just 30 minutes after that we go into the conundrum i shit you not dave dave allowed me to play the game in bits and pieces i don't have to do the full two hours we've already knocked out 30 we got another 30 minutes and then we're gonna knock out another 30 later you see what i'm saying well you just split it up yeah anyways you click on this link right here reach level seven screenshot it right look we've already had a lot of people do it screenshot it in here so i know you've done it see bro right here Co kofi level seven bros on his business i owe kofi an account review i owe him that i owe it to him and that's all you do you join the discord you go to general you screenshot that you've hit level seven i owe your ass an account review it's that simple all right look at all these people look at all these beautiful people that have helped me out look at all these beautiful people god damn i didn't know that was that many but that's a lot of motherfuckers God, that's a lot of account reviews. All right, hold on. Look, we might have to. We might have to renegotiate these account reviews. <laughs> Chat, hold on. We might have to. Re I was scrolling, huh? But I was scrolling long as hell. God damn. I was scrolling long as a motherfucker. <laughs> now I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Hey, Chat, Chat. I, I'm not. I'm a man of my word, bro. All right, y'all know I like to crack jokes and shit. Chat, y'all know I like to tra crack jokes. I'm a man of my word. I stand on business. Y'all should know this already. If you do this for me, I will give you an account review. Now, it may take a while, but I'm not, I will fucking do it for you. I'm a man of my word. I dead ass. All I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to look at who did what and pull your account up, review that shit, and move on. You say you can do 100? Hey, if, if, that's a good problem if we get to it, bro. Anyways, look, we're going to take a break and we're going to play some Marvel Strike. All right. We're going to come together. Family. All right, keep member Vin Diesel family, family guys. All right, we gonna come together because this is our sponsor. At the end of the day, let me turn this off. When is AFK? I wanted to stream that tonight too, Little Mary. I really did, dead ass. I wanted to stream it tonight. I just might not have time between doing the conundrum. Now the chat wants me to do fucking conundrum and AFK journey, uh, and then now I gotta play Marvel Strike Force and knock that sponsor out the way. I just I probably won't be able to get to it. But chat. 
I am going to be incorporating AFK into these streams. It's too, I love the game. I play it every fucking day. It's just too good of a game. I love it. So that's just for my personal. It's not even a sponsor. I just like it. I'm plugging them in for free 99 right now. All right. Anyways, let me switch over on Twitch. YouTube, y'all don't have to worry about the category switch. It's just a Twitch thing. Um, wait, let me move this out the way. Let me uh, change my Twitch category real quick. All right. Let's go over to Twitch. <clears throat> Beautiful girls. Uh, got smacked. Do you think he's a must for follow-up comp? Jay, for follow-up comps in particular, Aventurine, I do. I think you absolutely should pick up an Aventurine if you got a follow-up account. Absolutely. All right, let's change over to Marvel Strike Force. We're going to play it for 30 minutes. I'll set the timer. Marvel Strike Force. Done. Full beans. Follow up Exodia is real. What the hell is this? Oh, it's trying to confirm if I'm trying to sign in. I feel it. Uh, yes, it's me. Leaked? I mean, that's what y'all you, saw an email, bro. I don't, I ain't tripping. I don't think I've been in a live stream before, but I watch a lot of your videos. I love them, and I think you do an amazing content. Keep up the great work. Hey, Techno Taco, man. Thank you for the love, baby. I appreciate that. Let me come over here and make sure I don't leak anything else. All right. I think we're good. Chat, one more time. 30 minutes, okay? It's not that bad. Um... And it's not that it's a pretty good game. It's 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 pretty enjoyable. A lot of people have played this game. One of my friends is like level 85 and he's been playing it for years. So it's a pretty cool game. It's not too bad. But we got 30 minutes. The clock has already started ticking. Again, if you want an account review, join the Discord. Join the Discord. Click on download Marvel. Go all the way to the bottom. Click on this bad boy right here. It has to be on your mobile device. It has to be on your mobile device, guys, okay? I'll copy it, copy text, and I'll post it in here in case somebody doesn't want to go to the Discord. I completely understand it. You don't have to go to the Discord if you don't want to. I respect it. But you hit level seven. If you hit level seven, you get an account review. You just have to screenshot it and put it in here, okay? Put it in here, and it's GG's. All right. What's this? All right, you know what I'm trying to get? Black Panther. If we could get Black Panther, that'd be nice. I need my Black Panther. Rest in peace to my brother Chadwick Boseman. Smack, can you please tell me the best comp for Shui Yi? I can do it after this sponsor, brother. Right now, this is this is uh this is about Marvel Strike Force. I'd be doing bad business if I'm talking about HSR during a Marvel Strike stream, wouldn't I? All right, let's go back. Roster. Oh, snap. We got Iron Fist. The hell was that? Hold on. Right, I heard a loud ass noise. I guess it was somebody in the bathroom. Oh, goddamn. All right, continue. Is Cyclops S tier is my favorite superhero? It's funny because that's one of my favorites too. I like Gambit and uh, Doctor Strange, but I also mess with him. Iron Fist, I'll be honest. I'm gonna stay with my Deadpool, my Punisher. You know, I mean, you know what? We can give everybody the Oprah treatment. Why not? Love my boy up. Does it count if I used to play Marvel like a year ago and I use your link to return to the game? I don't think it does, brother, unfortunately, but that's okay, man. I'm not expecting everybody to be able to do it. I think they're trying. Obviously, I think they're trying to like get newer players in here. All right, we putting some equipment on them. Easy money. Easy money. Easy money. Share link for YouTube chat as well. Did, did I not? I put it in there. 
Right. You're not getting it? I just put that in there. Are, is YouTube not getting that link right there? Because the chat I'm putting it in is the universal chat. I see both Twitch and YouTube. All right. Anyways, let's get back to it. Daily objectives. Man, get off my screen. Got some achievements. Let me claim that. Oh, bro. Bro, I wonder how the Hulk is. The Hulk probably go hard. This I'm, my OCD is going crazy over here. I'm trying to see this. Oh, chat, hold on. We got to turn on the uh, the Marvel widget, man. My bad. Let me turn on the Marvel widget real quick. All right, let's do this. So we've already done that. Play three heroes, assemble missions. Black Panther. Didn't get the Discord link? I didn't. I didn't put a Discord link in there. Um, mods, y'all mind putting the Discord link? Or actually, YouTube, just scroll down. Just scroll down to my description box. There should be a Discord link in there. The title on YouTube is HSR. I know it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal for YouTube. It's just gonna have to be HSR. It's only thirty minutes. It's not. You know, whatever. We'll be all right. I don't I'm, I'm guys this is my first time streaming on YouTube so I'm still learning all the ins and outs of YouTube and all that good stuff so you just gonna have to bear with me on that one I apologize what's the deal with these blue aliens guarding the portal don't care as long as they go down when I shoot them that's some punisher ass shit bro all right let's do this glad to stream on YouTube yeah I'm gonna be streaming on YouTube going forward um yeah we, we bought a whole year subscription in advance man i got level 20 but i i don't think i can do 30 hey cj appreciate the support brother that's all right hey man 20 is more than good enough brother i appreciate you dude oh that's right i put it on auto i always forget Th this game is real smooth on autoplay I literally went to pee. What is this? Sponsor, brother. Marvel Strike Force. We're playing it for the next uh, 25 minutes. Damn, bro. Put the paws on him. Bro, that little dog is... is I, did I level him up? Bro, is... Wait, we fighting the Hulk? Oh, my God, bro. He sent that dog to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Why he hit that dog like that, bro? That's animal abuse. Yo, the Hulk is way too strong. Good dodge, Spidey. Good dodge, Spidey. The Hulk could never. The Hulk could never like Genshin. Oh my God. One hit did that. Bro, put the pause on my whole team, bro. Yeah, we got to go to the roster. Hold up. Hold up, boys. We need a sensu bean after that one, bro. We got we got waxed and taxed. Shit just got real. The Hulk zero cycle. Bro, he 1v5'd me, bro. Hold on, dog. That kid. No, no, no. We got to level up the Hulk. Let's level up the dog. Bro, the dog's level, level one, man. That's the problem. The dog has no gear on either. Oh, that's, that's like animal abuse, bro. There we go. All right, cool. Train the dog up. Oh, we can't go no more? That's fine. Train Deadpool? Yes. He said, I'm a Hulk smash that I... <laughs> he did. Bro, sure did, dog. I got, I got popped. I can train him some more? Okay, I'm trying to learn this, guys. Why is it saying... Oh, max character level reached. Okay. For now, I guess. I guess you get, like, as you progress through the game, you get a little bit more. Spider-Man's only level two? Disrespectful. Spider-Man was dodging them things, bro. Bro, I can't believe my Spider-Man was putting them paws on him. Didn't even have that much stuff on. Wait, you have to find stuff? Oh, I see. So you can unlock gear by finding gear. That makes perfect sense. Fight, auto-win? 
Oh, snap. You can auto win times 10 with the stamina. Oh, I see what's going on here. I didn't know that. Auto win? So this is how they get strong. YouTube chat takes 10 fucking minutes to load it so bad. Oh, man. I apologize, brother. Maybe I'll have to check. I'll have to look into that. Okay, another auto win. Bro, my Spider-Man about to be strong. Lit. Okay, so let's go back. Oh, bro is bro's way stronger now. Dang. We can train him some more now. Just hop on. Hey, man, you know, some people don't rock with Twitch, man. And that's all right, bro. Different strokes for different folks. You know, it's all good. Some people don't rock with it. All right. Upgrade. Yeah, this dog getting upgraded. All right, bro. Hold on. This dog be popping off. I'm level 96. I can give you some tips. Honestly, Ani, you should know. I'm the type. I like to learn everything. It's part of my enjoyment. If you tell me everything, then I, I have nothing to look forward to in terms of learning. Like, you see these surprise factors are actually, like, making me excited. It's part of my enjoyment. Wait, you can just... I just upgraded them for, for free? Oh. You can craft equipment. And make it better equipment. Nice. Just went there to give them the Discord link. Hey, I appreciate that, fam. Bro's name's actually fam, by the way. <laughs> okay. Now, can I do that with the Punisher? Oh, bro. Hulk about to get his... About to get his chops busted this time, bro. We went into the hyperbolic, bro. I couldn't... I couldn't let him disrespect me like that. That just wasn't okay. All right. So now what we do... What did we do last time? Upgrade? There we go. Bro's a lot stronger. And then we go to find. What do you do? What is find? Oh, this is locked. So we have to do probably supplies. I think we're okay for now. I don't want to like go too hard on investment. I just want to make sure I'm strong enough to where I'm not getting my cheeks clapped like last time. Deadpool can train some more. Good. Game's actually quite clean. Yeah, man. I'm, I, I'll be honest. Now that I've learned the mechanic, I mean the build system, I've, I'm already enjoying it a lot more now. Like the, the dopamine kicked in for this. No wonder how like one tapped us though. It makes sense now. All right, I think I'm good. Everybody level six, level six, level six. Okay, everybody's level six. We going back in there, and uh, the Hulk got me messed up, bro. Bro, about to get them paws now. Yes, sir. Bro, about to get them paws. Is it a gotcha? I believe so. Yeah, it's a it's a gotcha. Wait, is it a gotcha? It's a good question. Marvel Strike Force fam, is it? Yep, okay, all right. All right, we running this back. Bro, almost one tapped him with the dog alone. Oh, we way stronger, bro. We went into the hyperbolic. Look at Hulk, Hulk, yeah, we gonna see this time, bro. Nah, bro, we not having it. We not having it this time, little pup. Yep, yep, put it on him. Damn, that, that was a mean roundhouse. That was not the Hulk. All I have to do is reach level seven here, right? Yep, but make sure you use the link in the Discord, right? Make sure you use that one that I kept spamming in chat. Uh, and you reach level seven, and you get your account review. Absolutely. All right, here we go. I thought I got Black Panther. All right, peeps, look, it's not too bad, man. We got um, 17 minutes left, and then we go into the conundrum for Aventurine for the first time, Golden Gears Aventurine. We got 17 minutes left. I'm actually having a pretty good time. Uh, it's not too shabby. In order to grant you access, you would need to register a code name. What's this mean? My code name?
I don't know if I spelled that right. Let's double check. Oh no, it's oh never mind. I spelled that shit wrong as hell, boy. All right. Okay. Cool beans. These are new HSR skins for the Marvel Cloud. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right, daily objective. What's this event over here? What's going on? Yeah, I was about to say, what is this? We about to fight two different bosses. We got Electra and... Who is this guy? Double crossed? I ain't never seen him. Let's put the paws on her. Cosmo's my dog for real, for real. I love that little dude. Yo, that dog, I slept on him because I talked trash about him the first time I was playing. Severely slept on him. Let's get to the pause. Wait, what the? What is Iron? Uh, what's Iron doing in there, bro? Daredevil is a support character in the story. Ooh, Iron Fist like came out of nowhere. Wait, doing this gives you characters? Oh. Yo, that's live. I'll be honest though, I don't really care about Electra. I I'll keep it a buck. Not I I'm not really that, you know, about Electra. Now who is this dude? Is this? Hey yo, the ticket in some uh, Oh yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, I can't talk about that. Um earn crossbone shards. Sure. Let's just go fight this guy. Crossbones is from Hydra. Crossbones good though at the start. Yeah, guys. Hey, listen. I'm not a veteran. I'm a nub at this game. So if y'all y'all want to tell me all the OP characters, go for it. But when it comes to Black Panther, Gambit, and Doctor Strange, I will not like. I will not waver. If I get any three of those, they are coming with me immediately. Yo, Robin, man. Thank you for the three months. Bag mode. Yep, bag mode. This is going by pretty smooth, guys. We got 14 minutes left. 14 minutes left. OP characters just want to say it's the Sinister Six. Gambit can solo carry and Venom. Hey, that's what I like to hear. Venom's my boy too now. I like Venom more than I like Spider-Man. Carnage too. Carnage and Venom go hard, but Gambit... Gambit's my guy. There's a code for Gambit? What is it? He used the Gambit code? Can y'all drop it? Gambit is the code? Okay, where do we go to put that in? Y'all got me getting excited, bro. Where, where do we go to put that in? Supplies, offers, inbox, settings. Sign up to unlock a free three-star Loki. Bro, you can get Loki right now, too? Yeah, you got to make a scope fly account. I don't even know what that is. Then the redeem code will need to sign in with scope scopely. Then the redeem code will pop up. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, you want to do all of that. God dang it, Bobby. I wish they switched up some of the character designs. Looks just like Contest of Champions. 
Uh, you know what, guys? Just because I'm in the middle of a, a sponsor for him, I don't want to spend their their precious time signing up for Gambit. I, that's something I can do off stream, even though I am eager to play with him. I'm gonna have to do that off stream, so that way the next time we do our 30 minutes, we can do. Oh my God! There's Carnage. Hold on, boys. Hold on, boys. We're going to have to spend a little money. All right. We're going to have to spend a little gotcha. They didn't got me. They didn't got me, chat. All right. <laughs> they didn't got me, chat. Hold on, chat. That, that Carter's picture got me good, bro. Wait, you can get him for free? How? Bro. I am not rocking with this payment setup. I think it. They got him. Minus three. <laughs> I see you, Srack. <laughs> Hold on, chat. Let me uh, let me whip out the car. Let me look. Hey man, let me go ahead and whip out the goddamn plastic man. Hold on now. Gotta give me a little carnage. You can get it for free. He's also farmable. All right, man. Dang. All right, chat. Y'all trying to talk me out of? All right. All right. Let me talk me out. Then walk me off the cliff. Walk me off the cliff, man. All right, all right. Walk me off the cliff, then, chat. God dang it! Trying to give me some carnage, man. I just want to play with some characters, bro. How do I scan with a single device? I mean, you just put your phone up here. You talking about this bad boy right here? You just put your phone up to it. I'm trying to get Spider Man. But if you swipe, you play with them now. Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. You know what I mean? This, I will say the payment system would be more smoother on a phone. It's not as smooth on, uh, on the LD player for the, for the PC. Way more smoother on a phone. Hey, there he is. I don't know what bro does, but he look beefy. Bro look like a tank. Wait, why is it telling me I already did this? Like, are these guys, are these like basically dupes times 45 times five times five? Like, is these just like dupes? I just want to keep continuing to the story. Hey, we hit level seven. Hey, there it is. We hit level seven. That's what I was telling y'all guys. You just got to hit level seven. It took me personally. It took I'm slow though. I'm grandpa. It took me uh, 50 minutes, but I've heard some people did it in 15 minutes, but that's because I'm over here like learning all kinds of stuff. Bro, just like that, we've hit level nine. Man, I should have told y'all to go to level 20. Character stars equals more stats. Why does M'Baku look like Mr. T in this game? I haven't seen him, but now I want to. <laughs> oh, that's funny. M'Baku. That's actually hilarious. Can't we all just get along? Hawkeye. Hey, bro, that dog is the real deal. What is this game? It's Marvel Strike Force, brother. Marvel Strike Force. Uh, if you want to uh, play it and support me, bro, you can click it and download it with this link. Um, and you get to level seven and you get a free account review for Honkai Star Rail. No pressure, though, buddy. No pressure. And you have to download it on the mobile device, most importantly. They don't track it through PC, unfortunately. All right, guys, we got uh, seven minutes until we go back to Honkai Star Rail. Bro, what in the name? That's like Deadpool and Rocket Raccoon, Ra Raccoon put together.
Training day, ability enhancements, original industry. Is this like a stamina system? Probably is, huh? Possible rewards. Training day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what I use to have mats to level up my characters. Yep. I guess this is like your stamina system. It's challenge system. Used to upgrade character abilities. All right, let's try out each one. Does it cost stamina? What is this game? Marvel Strike Force. Hard to run through the stamina at the moment. Mr. Pokey be like, Shang Chi. <clears throat> Do the account reviews can be done after time remaining. I'm playing Marvel Strike Force right now, but do I need to rush to seven? You don't have to rush. No, take your time, man. Take your time. You have uh, all the time in the world, honestly. Yeah, you don't have to get it done today. You can get it done for the next three, four days. Uh, I'll announce when I'm going to do the account reviews um, once we're done with the campaign, but I'm a, don't get it twisted. I'm going to try to repay that debt as fast as possible. So did that not cost me any stamina? I don't think it did. I just got experience to level up my characters with for free. Oh, wait, is this it right here? It says two out of three. Ah, maybe that's it. Too bad you can't do it if you if you uh, if you already had it since a low fifty. Yeah, my my friend was level eighty something, and he was like, "How can I help you?" And I was like, "I don't think you can." Obviously, you know they're trying to recruit newer people, right? Not not the veterans. Wait, you can click on somebody and get their specific mats. Is that how that works? Here one. Two protectors and or controller characters required. Does it switch day in and day out? Where do I post the screenshot for the review? You post it right here, buddy. In general. See how they, uh, see how they just posted their screenshots? So I got Commander right here, and then I got uh, Alcohol Cow. Got him. Oh, yeah, you go and join the Discord. You post. There you go. Vinny, level nine. My man. Yep, there you go. And the tracker on my screen is tracking. You see, I says reach level seven. I have 38 people. That's how that works. I don't know how to do this one. It's not a. I think I can only do it with. Yeah, actually, no, I don't know. I'm a little confused on this one. Because it has everybody blacked out. Why is everybody blacked out? And what does it mean by fine people? Ooh, Ghost Rider. They got the Hulkbuster? That's live. Need them to do the raid? Ah. Uh. Y'all, oh, the... the the amount of you characters in this game. Wow, bro. Magneto! Where do I find him? Dang it. All right, so I don't think I can do that one yet, man. I don't think I can do any of these two yet, huh? I guess this is the only way. Auto win? Yeah, let's just get our mats. I, that's so lit that they have auto win. Okay, so we've used all three. But we get three more on this one, too, which is crazy. All right, 27 minutes. Uh, guys, we're about to end this 30 minute little endeavor in two minutes, two minutes and 20 seconds. Daily objectives. Let's see if we can get a little bit more here. Are oh, we hit level 10 already? Nice. Honestly, the team I got is like popping off. Mega Spider-Man offer. Holy Gamba. Holy gotcha. It looks like you find hero shards by playing the story. Is Deadpool in the game? Look at him front and center, baby. I'm using him right here. Front and center. That's my boy. 
All right. Uh, a minute and 50 seconds. There's also uh, OG characters like Deathpool, Spider Weaver, Kest Kestral, and Val. Is that Iron Man? I got to put them paws on Iron Man. I can totally see how people get addicted to this on a mobile device. Especially if you're a Marvel fan. Dude, that, that Deadpool attack there is hilarious, bro. He skips up to him, roundhouses him, shoots him in the face. The game's actually fun if you know what you're doing. I only quit because I got confused like three hours in. Yeah, it, it's a lot to take in. I can see it's a bit overwhelming even for me and I'm like a veteran in any game. There, there's a lot to, to like to learn. But I mean, you know, all gotchas are a bit overwhelming at first and then you start to, you know, figure out the language slowly but surely. All right, we got 30 seconds left. Let's do one more. Let's do one more here. Why is there a flying dog? Bro's, bro's actually kind of lit. I slept on him myself and then he got in battle and bro was out here with the psyche, the psyche powers. Telekinesis. Look, look at this right here. <laughs> that dog be putting the balls on people, bro. Mysterio's OP in his team, extremely clutch for his passive. Yeah, I'll be honest, just the nerd in me wants to play with all the characters. Just the nerd in me, like, like see what every character does, their abilities, what they look like. All right, guys, we've hit the 30 minute mark. Once we finish this, we are back to HSR. Thank you for tuning in with my sponsor, Marvel Strike Force. I appreciate y'all. Gonna level take care. Good night. Hey, Panda, I appreciate you, man. Have a good night. Ice Phoenix, thank you for the three months. All right, so you can set now we can start auto winning. I love the auto wins because you just get your stuff. You get your resources for day. This saves time for playing the game. Look, you get your stuff out the way. I hit a level 11 already. Get your stuff out the way and move on, which is nice. All right. That is enough strike force for today. Let's go ahead and X that out. All right. And um, thank you to Marvel Strike Force for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and change our title, guys. Get back to uh, the conundrum. How the hell is my voice gone already? Dear God. <clears throat> Those on Discord I don't know how you're going to make the account review work, though. I mean, if you show your screenshot, then that's that's the receipt that you did the level seven ordeal. After that, I'm going to open up my DMs. You guys will DM me uh, and we'll get the account reviews going. It's not hard. It's not hard to do at all. Well, did I change that title? I did. OK, we're back here. All right. Cool beans. All right, fellas. Turn the uh, audio back on. What's going to be our aventurine composition? I should probably do preservation follow-up, right? That's probably what I should do. Honestly, this team looks pretty solid. Yeah, like, I feel like this team is pretty solid. Looks meta. Defense, defense. I would like to have a defense here since we're going into the golden uh, gears. I want bro to be as beefy as possible, but I just, I just don't have a good defensive one. Yeah, bro needs to be absolutely beefy. 4,361 defense. Noise! All right. Elation preservation. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. 
Okay, um Let's fucking do it guys All right download initial characters we're gonna choose the preservate i'm actually really this is what this see a lot of people picked up adventure range to like have a another sustainer or whatever reason fans i picked them up because i generally want to use the goddamn preservation path bro like i want to make use of this path how does it work though spend 100 points of energy to use this ability and resonate with the path of preservation dealing physical damage to all enemies based on the total shield between all allies when using path resonance, extend shield. Same base. Extend shield duration by two turns. Wait. Oh, that's with destruction. What about elation? Where's elation? I see erudition. Wait, they have. They don't have elation? Elation is on Swarm. Ah. Then if it's Iridition. Can Argenti. I guess we could do Blade. We could do Blade. Aventurine. Arlon. Yo, we do Blade Aventurine Arlon. Based. He's unkillable. Bro's cooking with that Arlon. Hey, why not? See, like, bro, when I do this mode, I'm not. I'm trying to have fun, man. I want to use units I never use, paths I never use. It doesn't matter much. I've got 300k shield with Aventurine, but Blade wants to lose health, right? That, well, that's what I'm saying. If you go destruction path. And you choose the destruction buff. Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah, there's. I would have to go destruction. I get what you're saying. I'm, I'm, I'm waffling. I overcooked. I overcooked. Yeah, ain't no way in hell I'm using blade with this motherfucker. That's the worst. <laughs> that's the worst energy of all time, chat. <laughs> ain't no way I'm using blade with a shielder, bro. Yeah, I'll just ignore it. Fuck it. All right. What do we not? What What do we not want? We don't want Nihility. You can't get low to HP of Venturine as mortal. Propagation. Basic attack could be of use on a Venturine. Abundance. That's what we don't want. Why the fuck would we use abundance? Yeah. Abundance and ability are the most useless. We're not healing. We're shielding. Yeah. Aventurine. Obviously. Should we... Should we have more than one sustain or no? Nihility is okay because of Night Beyond the Pyre. Brother, with respect, I don't know what the fuck Night Beyond the Pyre is. What is that? Is that the one where you break somebody's shield and everybody does? Abundance is good. All right, just Aventurine. All right, fuck it. Just Aventurine. So let's do him. I feel like I got to have Acheron just because of how... Just, dude, just being able to assassinate all the regular mobs is just too broken, man. Now, probably, what, what else do I want to do? Now we need somebody with positivity. Hella?
The problem with Acheron, man. Ah, uh, you got to build around her, which is so annoying. I guess we could do this. Skill issue. Welt? Welt's not a bad option. Chat, y'all are throwing out so many options that I'm fucking like dying over here. Looks good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I just, I cannot say no to Acheron because of how broken her ability is. It's the same thing with, with her, bro. You can use Akron to clear mobs and download the characters you actually want to play. Yes, that, Sylvanaut, that's the best idea. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Because I don't really want to play with Akron. I just want to use her to, like, get through the shit, you know? Hold on, guys. Let me let me build up my uh, my gun real quick. I mean, my Pella. Um, let me make this a little bit smaller. By the way, I don't need that shit to be taking up all the screen, bro. Damn, somebody hit re Shock Blade, reach level seven. Damn, y'all over there knocking that Marvel Strike Force out. I appreciate y'all, man. I feel like my Pella just needs to be beefy, you know? Probably gonna be this one. That's good. And then let's go for like... Effect hit rate, yep. HP and D... Ooh, that's good. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Ooh. And then let's go for... Uh, Something beefy. Here we go. All right, and then energy recharge. Defense 14.5 and effect hit rate, W. All right, Pella's looking good. 1260, pretty good, nice. Ron Mizzy, 2000 defense, 3008. Something ain't right here. Defense, oh, it's double defense, that's why. And some HP. Actually, she good. She good. Venturing in the middle. I'm telling you, bro. I fucking suck, bro. I'm never going to remember that shit. Uh, I think I'm going to switch my Ron May over to um, DDD. All right, we good. At the start of the first second plane calls one random domain to become a reward. All right, guys, which one should we choose? First. Oh, shield gain. Ooh. So I just go to occurrence. That's it. Occur occurrence and rewards. Easy enough. Yeah, easy enough. All right, let's do it. You screw over a little bit. Uh, obtain one negative Kira, one error. Obtain a blessing of one to two star rarity. Gain 150 cosmics. Um, 
let's go ahead and do that yep let's let's go ahead and get that preservation yeah and this is the beauty of acheron right here man beauty of acheron right here That is so freaking cool, bro. Show the characters increase their attack by... Okay, sure. That's good for Acheron. This is pretty massive. Such a brain dead character. Why you hate, man? I call it a... Uh... I call it work smarter, not harder. We're going to occurrence domains, right? So that one looks completely worthless. There we go. Let's go up top. Nice. Bro, this path already sounds so broken. This path sounds insanely broken, chat. I hate this one, bro. This one sucks, bro. Give me my give me my stuff. When it says defeating an enemy regenerates energy, does that trigger with Akron technique when she's one shot to fodder enemy? I have no idea. Probably not. I'm pretty sure you have to be inside. Select one domain, immediately copy the selected domain onto an adjacent domain and apply the knowledge effect. I don't know what this means, but okay. I thought that's what it was going to do. Easy money. All right. I reward domains are fire too. Okay, we are cowboys. The cremators. Jabby! Thank you for the tier one. Ah. Uh... Bro, I'll be honest, this team consumes a lot of skill points. Which one should we go? This one, right? Chad, I never do this. If you see the curio that weighs 10 fragments for victories before HP, Akron gives those fragments. I don't really know what you meant. You need to pick both. Oh, wait, you can do both? I didn't know you can do both. I, I wasn't thinking of it like that. Man, hell no. Nah. Wow. I think they're already weak. Increase the crit rate of silver characters. What you're saying is that we need a sparkle character for technique points? Oh, bro, dead ass. That would be so clutch. I never even thought about that. <clears throat> I ain't discarding nothing. That's perfect. That was perfect. But we already getting a lot of shields. And thank God they keep slapping these in here because Lord knows I need them. Try copy the reward domain. Well, the thing is, they said every time I go. Actually, you're right. The reward was one of them, too. I'm wilding. Oh, I remember the old gambler was good last time. I remember. Yeah, I remember, chat. I remember. All 
I obtain one curio and all characters lose HP equal to 20% of their current HP. Sure. This one looks pretty good, huh? Sure. Clutch. Let's, uh, there's not an elite dome. Oh, wait, we can do that one. Bro, we getting a lot of this. Okay, when path use... Isn't this the best one to go for? Which one should we go for on this path? Three? Yeah, this looks good too. Okay. Bro, I'm such a Golden Gears nub. I guess this can come in handy. Extend shield duration by two turns on characters whose HP is below 50%. Huh. What the hell is this? Oh, nice. That was a W. Clutch. You have no choice. Fight. All right. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing, baby. Uh, I'm gonna wait for you to summon your people first. Ready for another? Enemy status net mark festival. Time for a good old counter. There it is. There it is. Been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Oh no. My Acheron doesn't have her shit on. I was like, nah, bro. Ain't no way in hell she did that low damage. Oh fuck. I gotta I gotta put I, I think of uh, Dr. Ratio's rocking all of her shit, guys. Opportunity doesn't knock on its own. <gasps> Another still water. God damn it. 400k is low. Yep. Hey, that's the power of Acheron, man. Enemy targets detected. Enemy data net mark Time for a good old counter. Good freeze. Bro, what was that damage, bro? What happened to my shield? Not gonna lie, your Acheron is later to me. <laughs> hey, Godslay, man. Thank you for the subscription, baby. Oh, wait. That was Jappy gifting a tier one sub to Godslay. Jappy, thank you. I weep for the target. Bro, this damage is ass cheeks, bro. Let's see how scuffed my Ron May actually was. I think it's gonna be hilarious.
Oh my god. Well, unfortunately, I can't take advantage of the energy regeneration. And this is one broken buff, I'll be honest. Yeah, we're going to take that. It's too broken not to. All right, let's uh let's see how scuffed my Acheron build is. Bro. 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 Ah, chat. Ain't no way my bro. Ain't no way my Acheron walked in fight, did 400k with two items on, bro. Guys, this bitch really broke the game, bro. Like, she dead ass just broke the game, bro. That's crazy, dog. Acheron isn't free to play friendly, by the way. <laughs> I try to tell you, bro. Y'all can't, y'all can't be listening to these people, bro. They don't know how to cook, bro. They just don't know how to cook. Eminator! That's right. I forgot. Only an Eminator can walk in, go to gears with two items on, bro, and still pop off. She's galaxy level. <laughs> All right, where's my lightning, bro? There it is. Now look at this Acheron now, guys. Holy God damn, that's a big difference, chat. Yo, chat, that's a fat difference, bro. <laughs> Lord have mercy, bro. Damn, zero to hero real fast, bro. Zero to hero real, real fast. Yeah, that 400K would have been over a million, 100%. Hero to Eminator. Okay, hold on. Give me one second, chat. Let me make sure my other sponsor is on right now. Got to make show, man. Got to make show. So here you... Okay, everything is on. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Holy hell, man. People signed up for the Factor 75. I appreciate that, guys. Damn. Y'all signed up. All right, immediately it generates two double or choice beacons. Oh, perfect time to plug it in. Chat, if you haven't seen it already, Factor 75 is a meal prep company, and this stream is sponsored by them. If you guys want to check out the meal prep service, you can also, if you're on YouTube, you can go back and watch the beginning of the VOD where I go over the meal prep, extensively teaching you about how to prep your meals, macronutrients, micronutrients, all the jazz, all that jazz. Go back and watch the stream, um, the stream if you want to, but you can, um, you can click on this link right here. You're going to get 50% off your first month. And then, or first box, and then you get 20% off your next month. These are the meals that I handpicked with my partner in crime. And that is all. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's go ahead and get back into it, guys. Immediately generates two double or choice beacons in occurrence, occurrence of normal. Yes, this is good. So now we can do this. Wait. Oh, I guess it didn't choose the right one. You get in the bag with sponsors? I know, man. It's a blessing. It's thanks to you guys, bro. Literally. Thanks to you guys. Couldn't do it without y'all, man. That's all the support y'all have been doing with the channel. It's been amazing. Y'all been changing my life, bro. Guys, which one should we choose? Second? All right. Yes, clutch. Two is two really that much better? Is two really? That, what's the difference, by the way? Enlighten me, because I don't know. Oh my God, this this guy, bro. I have a I, bro. I have a number one fan that is on my ass about not posting story, bro. Bro is on my ass about not finishing the story content, bro. So did you give up? 
dude, two minutes ago. So did you give up on posting story on YouTube and finished all on Twitch? You should post your streams on YouTube because some people don't like Twitch. You stupid son of a bitch. Got your smack. Go fuck yourself. All right. Thanks in advance. <laughs> Bro is so mad at me for not finishing the story. <laughs> now nah, he didn't say all that last stuff, guys. Where's the finale from the story? It was supposed to be part six, right? Oh my God, dude. He was being a freak on Discord. Yo, now nah, they want that story so bad, bro. Oh my God. All right, guys. Guys, we got to end the stream and go get this story out before bro finds my address. All right, guys, listen, man. We got to end the stream before I, bro finds my address and I, I might have to put little pup down. <laughs> He gonna be he gonna he gonna be fucking with the wrong address. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> I do need to finish the story. In his defense, I do need to finish the story. But goddamn, bro, I've been busy as a motherfucker. Hey, bro, this is what's. Oh my god, I might I might lose early. I might lose early, bro. These curse of captivities ain't no joke. We gonna try. We might lose early, bro. These curse of captivities, bro. I, they they don't be for the bullshit. But now our Acheron is beefed up, you know? So I don't think we will lose. Look at DDD coming through in the clutch already. Captivity? Oh, I know. It's, it's going to get three stars. Dang! Why Pella doing damage like that? Preservation cooking in already? Yo, Pella. Acheron, get her. Let's see this single target damage. True single target damage. Uh, let's slow it down real quick. Hold up. Uh, uh, single target damage. Ah, 300k on a single target is nasty work. That is actually nasty work. What would you want to do? Hit me. Hit me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. There it is. It's better to fight her when you encounter her a third time so that she can give you stuff the first two times. Bro. All right. What are we going to do here, chat? Hey, somebody else reached level. Hey, my boy, man. After a character uses their ultimate, the next time they consume skill points, it will be considered as one additional skill point. For each skill point consumed, the character's crit damage increases by 40%. Oh, this one's huge. For Acheron, huh? The break one's crazy? Yeah, I agree. I agree, chat. I agree. Oh, my God. After a character launches attack, deals quake damage equal to... Oh, yeah, there it is. There's the big There's the big damage. There's the big damage, chat. She's about to get real. She's about to get real. Now everybody about to be doing damage. The hunt one? Absolutely not, bro. This is literally a Venturine shield run. Why would I choose hunt? What? Y'all cooked, bro. All right. Actually, man, I got 694. Bro, I think I'm gonna go here. Bro, I got a, that's a lot of cash. Ah, uh, you know what? I can just do it on the next domain. I can do it on the next one. Chat needs more factor seven carbohydrate meals. <laughs> yeah, they do. Chat. Don't forget about them carbohydrate meals. I put y'all on game, man. Hey, don't forget. In the third planes boss domain challenge, the boss will be inflicted with wind weakness. Physical weakness. Let me think about that for a second. Wind and physical. I think we're just going to go here, man. I don't really care about bro not being weak to anything because Acheron just going to ignore that shit. Plus, this dude is so fucking annoying. My team does not mess with this guy. He's so cringe, bro. Tell them. Tell them, Zesty. I'll be trying to tell them that same stuff. They don't be listening to me, man. 
You got a lot of effect res? Yeah, that's why I went to him. Bro, that was a lot of damage. God damn. Oh, that's all she wrote for Burrow Dog. He out of there. God damn, how did that jump to 500k, bro? Man, bro, I ain't get a chance to do nothing. After character's hit deals quake damage to the attacker. Equal to 340. Ooh, we get. Oh, hey, hey, things are getting. Things are getting real interesting. Oh, hey, that's actually the best one. I'll take it. That's the best. That's the best level one right there. What's Amber do again? Oh, that's huge. That dude, that shit is huge for the one taps. Brother, you using Rame's ult while before she goes really bothers me. Um wait, what? When did I do that? No, if anything, I'm using it on her turn when I could be using it after she goes to get her own action advancement. I'm using it on her turn. What are you talking about? YouTube vids are on point. Sorry about your venturing pulls, pools, by the way. Man, I fucking... Don't, don't remind me. Don't remind me, Havoc. Hey, thanks, though, brother. Welcome on in. It activates at the beginning of turn. Yeah, he's he's waffling. I don't think he knows that. I think he's waffling. Yo, um... Wannabe, it doesn't activate on her turn. It activates when her turn comes up. So if you activate it when her turn is already up, it's not going to take away a stack, little pup. You waffling, bro. Now, if you were to make the argument that I should use it after she goes so she can get her own DDD uh, advancement, I would understand that. But what you're saying doesn't make sense, brother. Oh, damn, thanks. Yeah, it's all right, man. On her turn does not take away a turn. It only takes it away when you use it before her turn arrives, which if you're playing Ron May on auto, the the uh, the auto fucking AI will butcher your Ron May ult. It will activate it before her turn comes up and take away one of your turns, which is cringe. I want to gamble here. Instead of a Kyrio, I want to see if I can hit one of those three-star blessings. I feel like I got a good chance. How many we got? One, two, three, four, five. Dude, we got five three-star blessings. We got to hit one of them, right? We got to hit one of them, right, chat? Don't forget to download characters. Oh, thank you for reminding me that. I almost forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me. Just joined back in three hours. Damn smack streaming long hours today. Hey, yeah, of course I was, man. I had two different uh, sponsors and shit. All right, let's do it. Gamba. That's a W. That's a W. All right, three-star blessing. Come on. Come on, three-star blessing. Lord knows y'all shafted the fuck out of me on my adventuring pools. My luck should be maxed out right now. Genshin could. That's all I'm going to say. Genshin fucking could, chat. All right. All right, chat. Who do we actually want to use to help our adventurine? Now we're going to pick characters we actually want to play with. Who should we pick? Oh, we're going up. Oh, Yang King. Y'all want to use Yang King?
Hell no. Why you gotta hit on? Bro, what the fuck? What's with all the Yang King? All right, look. One, if y'all wanna see Yang King. Two, if you wanna see, I don't know, whoever the hell else. Yes, yeah, sir. Look at the Yang King love. Hey, don't be hating on Yang King, bro. Yes, sir. The power of the Yang King has arrived, bro. Give me my Yang King, bro. Hey, let's build him up. Let's build him up. Y'all want to know the play? The play is to slap Dr. Ratio's light cone on Yang King. Yeah. Y'all about to say, y'all about to witness greatness, bro. Don't be hating on my fucking Yang King, bro. You about to, I'm about to, I'm about to turn everybody into this chat. If you wasn't a believer before, you going to be a believer now, my boy. Boy, I got some cracked ass pieces. God damn. These pieces cracked. Ooh, energy recharge in gang. Do I want to do energy? Yeah, yeah. Energy recharge in gang is actually where the play is, bro. Honestly. It's actually where it's at, to be honest. All right, so we're going to swap out Acheron for Yang Gang. He's actually a perfect synergy, too, with the team I have. Bro's a perfect synergy with the team I have. Nah, we gonna cheat. Should we... We should do reward, right? Double up on the rewards? Right, chat? Middle occurrence? Oh, this... Nah, 3x. I think it's rewards. Let's do this one right here. I think this is the best one. Why, why, why would I do this? This gives three rewards? Adventuring's his biggest upgrade. I agree. Triple. Okay. All right. Fuck it. We're doing it. We're doing the middle. All right. I'm just going to trust y'all on that one. Fuck it. I thought I was supposed to like. I'm so All right. Well, I guess we're going to see what happens. Um, that's good for Yang Gang, actually. This is good for Yang Gang. Bro's, bro, like, has so much crit, it's insane. Oh, yeah, we gotta take that. All right, let's go. Bro, bro, can you land one? Ah, damn. I'm gonna be wasting all my shit. I'm cheating. We should always choose this one, right? This one, right, guys? Oh my, bro. Yang Gang's about to pop off, chat. 
Bro's about to be hitting like an absolute truck. Oh, we got to choose that. That shit way too solid. This is so broken because if they're not weak to ice, they will be weak to ice. Isn't this so broken? One, right? It basically guarantee. Yeah, this shit is broken. All right, let's do it. Oh, the bigger the risk, the better the reward. Hey, oh my God, this dude would. I can't use Yang Gang against him because he can't freeze him. But I still want to use him. <laughs> I still want to use them, chat. Do it anyways. I'm I'm pretty based. So you know, don't challenge me, bro. I'm pretty I'm pretty based. I'm pretty goddamn based, chat. Come on now, y'all should know better at this point. I'm not even gonna use any technique. Cause I'm over here, bro. I'm scrapping for techniques over here, bro. It's it is. I need some goddamn technique. Are we not even gonna use Pella? All right, here we go. Let's slow this down. Man, my Pella didn't ult, did she? That's unfortunate. Follow up, follow up. All right, there we go, 48K. If my Pella would have ulted, I shit you not. And if I would have had his technique up, it would have been a lot more. But look, it's not done yet. 105 again, 144. Mid what? Mid what? That was 300K. That was 300K. That was 300k. And Pella didn't even ult. Pella didn't even ult, chat. Y'all are hoeing, bro. Y'all are sleeping on my boy. Now she ulted. Popping off, bro. Don't be hating on my boy. We out here getting it done. We out here getting it done, bro. He has ice res too. Yeah, he does. Bro has like 40 fucking percent ice res. Watch. Hey, I mark my words. Chat is gonna eat the shit out them words when uh when bro goes. Why once we fight somebody that's not even weak to it, watch. I swear y'all gonna eat them words, bro. Nah, bro. Don't be hitting me with the knob. That's my... my fucker, don't be hit. Don't be taking my knob, bro. That's my shit. You knob, bro. Hit me with the knob, bro. I dare you. 190k right there. That was a regular skill, bro. Y'all hating. Oh, my God. Dude, that's huge for Yanking. That was a fluke. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all chat. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Hey, um hold up, who's that? Hey Tip man. Thanks for the tier one. You trusting Yang King? Thank you, bro. Thank somebody trusted my boy. Thank you, brother. Alright, hold on, guys. We're gonna take this one right here, right? We get double rewards, so we should take that one. Or no. Alright. Sure. Man, bro, that shit is so strong. But I'm trying to get this preservation to capped out. Eh, that's kind of trash. This is good for survivability. 
This is really good for survivability. Hey, forms, man. Thank you for the subscription, baby. Forums 3,588 just subscribed. Yeah. I'm the only one that can make him strong. Um, bro, these running out of technique points ain't it, bro. When are we going to get that one thing that get, lets me eat like technique points? Because, bro, I'm broke. This ain't it, chat. Damn, now I gotta fight another strong ass mob. Okay, never mind. They shafted me. Can we see your Aventurine's gear smack? Yeah, of course you can, especially after you just subscribed. Immediately generate two double or choice beacons in occurrence. Is there an occurrence I can go to? Oh, wait. Oh. Wait, what? I'm so confused on that. How's that work? Why is it only allowing me to use these two? It auto generated. Okay, well, dude, where the hell do I go? Oh, you know what? I need to go here. I do. I need to go here anyway. What the hell is that Screwlum's wife? Damn, Screwlum's wife got the boy. She thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. What's going on over here? That's crazy. Screw them. Well, I see you, boy. Screw them. Go ahead on with your robot self, boy. You go ahead. Screw them. I see you, baby. Hey, I see you, dog. Hey, you get you some, bro. Hey, you get up in there. Hey, you get up in there, dog. Yeah. Screw them over there. Screw them cheeks. All right, hold on. Where we at? Oh, hell. I just shot myself in the foot, bro. Yeah, well, it is what it is. Obtain three deep. Yeah, we're going to do that. Bro, getting these, getting those zero one zero. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro, we've been getting all the rewards, bro. Actually, this shit is underrated too, man. But now nah, we can't pass that up. That's too good. Oh my God, the brain, the ultimate brain, bro. Oh, bro, this is gonna go crazy on my boy. This shit about to go crazy on my boy. We getting brain in the back chat. That's it, <laughs> exactly. We getting brain in the back. That's crazy. Yep, yep, yep. We're gonna take that too. Ain't no way. Yo, Yang Gang about to prove all the haters wrong, bro. Chat, Yang Gang about to prove everyone wrong. What's this? I mean, you know. I'm good, Chief. Wait, was that a W? I wasn't even paying attention. Top, top ass next to support Yanking. Oh, you ain't lying. Nah, nah, nah. You, you dead. You know, you might be cooking. Then again, Pella, bro. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Pella, ew, you know, Pella be cooking.
What you got, old my 40 over here, Skrullum? What you got? After a character launches a follow-up attack, they deal aftertaste damage? Hell yeah, that's good for Yang Gang. That's actually pretty less lit for our Venturine. I'm good. All right, so this one says immediately obtain three random blessings. After winning a battle, the selectable number of blessings becomes one. I mean, that shit sounds pretty lit, bro. I'm gonna grab it. That's pretty good with what I just picked up. That's all right. And that's good for tankiness. But now I only can choose two blessings, bro. That was the downside. Oh, did I forget to download a character? I think I did, didn't I? I'm an idiot. Got the final one there. No? Okay. The old gambler. Good old gambler, baby. Wow. All right. Selecting the current domain. I'm good. We go ahead and forfeit that. All right. Let's go ahead and go into battle. Who are we fighting? Yang King versus Yang King. I don't think I mind. Dude, this is better for... Dude, wait. Guys, hear me out. Let me cook. Don't I get benefit from this because Aventurine's going to keep taking dots, which is going to keep triggering his follow-up attacks. You know what I'm saying? It's like ultimate counter. No, he's going to affect Rez. No, nah, he's going to be taking multiple dots. He's, he's bound to get hit with a dot. She has ice res. I feel like both her and Yang Jing both have ice res. I'll be all right. Does it work that way? If he gets ticked, it absolutely should work that way. Yeah. Dot gives a stack. It gives a stack on Blade. I don't see why I wouldn't give a stack on Buddy. Enemy targets detected. Was that a free ult? It was, huh? So I have to use it or it expires. That's the ball pass resident. It's not yours. No, I know. I'm saying he's going to put dots on my team. And the dot should count as a tick on Aventurine. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'm wrong. Good damage there. Okay, I got to activate his shit. And he put the ice weakness on her. How how very fortuitous. Bro, that shield is not moving. That is insane. They 6k nice. Guys, keep in mind I'm fighting people who are like literally they they specialize against the ice element. Oh, 
won't be swept away by the wind. I think I would like to uh, actually no, it doesn't matter. Or maybe I take it off. Watch your head. Bro, Venturee popping off 206k. Venturee did the same damage as my Yang King. Actually insane. Adventure ain't old for Branya. Ah, I'll be all right. Bro, that damage, bro. What the hell? Look, his ult came up. Adventure ain't old came up. See? See? Didn't even have to save it. Oh my God, that weakness break is crazy. Bro, Adventure is a menace. Three, bro. It's, what the it's supposed to be a Yang King showcase? Why is bro hogging up all the shine? 100K on <laughs> auto attack. Look, 405. Yo, this shit is crazy. Bro, bro, this is insane, bro. This is the definition of full counter. It's the definition of full counter, chat. Oh my God. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Ain't nobody worried about your avalanche. Show you avalanche. I'll show you avalanche. <laughs> bro, what is happening? What is actually happening, chat? <laughs> what is this? I don't know, bro. I don't know what's happening, chat. She getting bullied, bro. She's just out here getting bullied, bro. Full counter. Light work, no reaction. Follow up, Texas. Holy. Bro, 65k Yankee, yeah, what the fuck, bro? Come on, man, you make me look bad. Bro, she cannot touch the shield, bro. The shield is an actual impenetrable wall. It's insane. Yeah, like guys, I'm not gonna lie, this this is insane, bro. And then I have Japar's light cone on, so she keeps attacking a venture. <laughs> Ready for Just to make sure she can't break the shield, we're gonna be petty and do this. Oh, she almost broke Pella's shield right there. I actually that was a five head play by me. Full counter. Or maybe I'll take it off. The stackable one, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it stacks. Hello, <laughs> shield getting a little low over there, guys. Okay, uh, Yang Ching should, if he triggers a follow-up, then we should be Gucci, but you know what? Let's be safe. Re-up that shield. Yeah, I knew Yang Ching's sorry ass wasn't gonna fucking trigger a follow-up. Yang Ching, I take it back, bro. You ass cheeks. I'm disappointed, bro. Bro can't, f bro, bro can't trigger a follow-up to save his life. You getting subbed out after this, dark. I'm just kidding, Chad. I was just talking shit. <laughs> Yang King still my boy, dog. Uh, bro, 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 he's a little lacking on this one.
Bro, Adventurine got... He got frozen? That's crazy. Oh, she broke my... She broke my Yang King shield. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. What does OM mean? It's a, it's Twitch culture for them laughing, bro. Oh man. Oh man, oh my. We gotta load them shields back up, bro. They need to get beefy. All right, here we go. Yeah, you're not gonna pull that off, girl. You can give it up. You can pull that. You're not gonna pull that off. You can give it up. All right, we won, guys. We won. There you go, Yang King. There you go. That's the Yang King I know. Bro, shield is just like getting shredded, though. Not a good look. Dang, bro did a auto. Bro did a auto for 150k. There's the Yang King I know. All right, there we go. Oh, we got the spore. Nice. Oh, and we got another spore and got lucky. This is good. Not bad. What do you think about Venturi and DPS and SU? Cracked. L precisely what I said it would be. I mean, I, I think we still have yet to reach his full potential. I actually feel like he'd do more if I put Japari on the team and triple and double stack the uh, shields. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, clutch. When the next podcast with Volk? It's coming up very soon, my man. Coming up very soon. Bro, we, we, were, we were both, to be fair, like dead ass, we were both balls to fucking walls for this last like 30 days, bro. All right, I guess we're good. I know why my Yang Xing ain't doing that much damage, though. One, he was going against ice people who have massive ice resistance. Two, we not we don't have the elation path to back him up, where his ult is considered an uh, a follow up attack. That would have been massive. We need that. We need that elation path buff, guys. Dead ass. Like desperately. What should we do in that situation? Should we? I guess what we could do. Like one domain immediately copy the selected domain onto the adjacent domain. I guess we copy this, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Copy the reward. Sure. Noise. All right. Looking good. Oh, wait. We get nothing but good shit right here. Somebody else reached level seven? Hey, man, who was it? I didn't even, it's just anonymous. Yeah, I think we're gonna go for this one. That's huge. That's huge. Or performs a follow-up attack. Oh, nice. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I actually do feel like Pella should be subbed out. We need another follow-up attacker in here so Aventurine can trigger even more follow-up attacks. I think we're going to take her out and put in uh, Topaz. That's the play. Hey, 
Hey, Miko, I don't have her on this account. Okay, I really hope we can get an elation path buff. Please. What, it's tantalizing, right? Oh, I wanted it to be the ult. That's good, though. That's good. I wanted it to be the ult. That's still good. That's gonna be good for our toe pass. Hey, what? Why does it look like it says the same thing? Am I tripping? Oh, who has no ice weakness. No ice weakness. Okay, okay. Making it a little bit more pinpoint. Man, I got nothing but garbage upgrades, bro. That's so trash, bro. I got nothing but booty cheek ass upgrades. All right, Topaz taking out uh, Pella for sure, 100%. That's going to be massive. And they're, they're all weak to fire, too. That's huge. They're all weak to fire. Let's make sure Topaz is looking good. Nope, she not looking good. I'm glad I checked. <laughs> I'm so glad I checked. All right, now she looking good. All right, let's make sure Topaz is looking good. All right. She looking good. Yep. All right. Looking good. Looking good, guys. She she looks ready. She got nothing on Skrulita. <laughs> true this is the final one right so we're gonna go the, the 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 fucking combat one no 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 combat 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 no 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 combat bro what the fuck combat thank you talk about going down to the wire bro Oh, him. Him for sure. They're both weak to ice and fire. Right here. This is the move. This is the play. All right. Oh, okay. That was it, right? That's maximum defense. That's maximum defense, right? That was maximum defense? Hey. All right, the Aventurine build before we go into battle. Here it is. Boom. 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 I wish that was defense, but it's not. Honestly, it would be better for the run. Defense right here, too. I think I might need defense right here, man. I might need to, like, just go for another defense right here for even more beefiness. Oh, wait, bro. Bro, we got one right here. Man, get that shit off my screen. Get this shit off my screen, man.
Y'all be yeah, this shit better hit crit one more time, bro. Picking up Aventurine was the worst fucking... I think Aventurine didn't... I think it goes past the scope of getting shafted by his pulls. I think bro has fucked my luck for the rest of the game. I think bro's fucked my luck for the rest of the game, bro. Five thousand defense. That's all we need. That's all we need, guys. Here it is. Why is Topaz's ult not up? What the fuck? God damn, what happened to their health? Holy bro, how are they already about to die? Oh, I remember these two. They kept coming back to life over and over last time. I remember you motherfuckers. Yeah, I ain't forget y'all. We got to do like even damage to both of them, bro. Two hundred and sixty-one K. That's a lot more like it, Yang King. That's a lot more like it, brother. Hundred K back on him. Yeah, yeah. Venturing go crazy with that, bro. Three forty. Okay. Did Venturi? Okay, Venturi got a bleed dot on him. We're gonna find out if it works. We're gonna find out if it works. Nice, nice, nice. Bust. bust, bro's trying to bust. That's crazy. All right, he's about to come up. Six. Oh, y'all were right. The dots don't trigger it. That's unfortunate. Now, boys, you learn. Maybe you learn, huh? I think it's better if we uh re up the shield here. Stack the shields up so everybody else can do more damage. Let Aventurine do damage with his follow-up, honestly. Somebody else hit level 7? Hey, I see you. Likeable. Thank you, baby. God damn, Topaz. Oh, my, my dumb ass just popped ult. Actually, I don't think it matters because it goes away if you don't use it. Bro, they getting baptized. God damn, Yankee ain't playing around no more. I told y'all. I told y'all he was going to come back. Look at his damage. Y'all ready for this? I need to ult this guy, bro. Gotta, got, they gotta do even damage, chat. They gotta do even damage, chat. The Yang game. I told y'all. Imagine you had the old damage equals follow up. I know, bro. I got shafted so hard on that. He would do, yeah, dude, dead ass. If he did that, bro, would probably do Akron damage. I'm not even capping. Watch your head. 
Oh my god, a million damage because bro got his shield broken. That's crazy. Okay, so we got to get rid of this big boy on the left, bro. He's not taking enough damage right now. It's not good. Ah, I only got one skill point, bro. Come on, man. That's not good. All right, that's looking good. Good. Nice. Looking good. Looking good. Hey, Venture ain't carrying, bro. Oh, hell. Okay, Topaz, this is your moment. This is your moment to shine here, boo boo. Yes. Get rid of him. Otherwise, they just keep coming back to life, man. Yeah, bro's coming back to life. That's okay. It is what it is. All right, we're just going to have to work on... Oh, I can't even attack because this... Oh, this fucker's taunting me, bro. Beautiful. Good follow-up. Good follow up. All right, let's start working on this guy over here. Oh, no, 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 no. My Rame is going to die. Okay, thank God. Oh, that's right. The Amber Shield came in clutch. What the hell happened to her damage right there? What the fuck? Bro, get this shit off my screen. What the fuck? Bro, that bust is hilarious. Wombo combo. That was a wombo combo. I forgot to use his, uh, oh, I hold myself. I forgot. I was supposed to use the skill first, bro. He didn't have his damage buff. That's unfortunate. Good adventuring shield. Oh, that was huge. Bust. Bust. Okay, we got to get rid of this guy, bro. He's got to go. He's got to go. We won, boys. We won, boys and girls. Easy, buddy. Easy. Ah, <sighs> Bro, those dudes are annoying, man. Motherfuckers don't die. They just don't die, chat. What conundrum level? I think it was only four or five or some shit like that. Wasn't anything crazy, but you know, hey, hey, we made some progress, man. Damn, I got a lot of rewards to collect. See, this this is why I take so long to do Golden Gears, though, chat. Chat, that was an hour and 20 minutes, man. That was an hour and 20 minutes.
You should try it. I am going to do elation path. Next time we will do it. We'll do elation path next time. We absolutely will. All right, chat. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to finish off the stream with another 30 minute uh, chip away at the Marvel Strike Force. Um, if you guys were here for Honkai Star Rail, you feel feel free to get up out of here if y'all want to. But I want to do 30 more minutes of my Marvel Strike Force sponsor. And then I'm going to end the stream and that's going to be all she wrote. Uh, I had a lot of fun today, man. We streamed, we streamed for four hours and 10 minutes. And then we're going to knock out this Marvel Strike, chip away at another 30. And then, uh, and then we out of here, man. All right. AFK Journey, I told you though, man. I, I wanted to play it, but dude, we've already hit the four hour cap, man. You know, it is what it is. Hey, I promise you, we'll be doing some AFK Journey streams. I promise. We'll be getting it in. Let me go ahead and do this real quick before in case I leak anything. All right, we good. Let's pull this back up. Um, bloop. X that out. All right, this will be our final 30 minutes of Marvel Strike Force. Well, not final, but we got we got another hour left, but that's pretty much it. All right, let me come here and pull up the titles. Which Boom. Go back to Marvel Strike. Marvel Strike Force. Blop, blop. All right, let's get another 30 minute grind in on this bad boy, shall we? All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Marvel Strike Force is such a fun game. Life changing. True. You the man, Smack? Hey, I appreciate it, Iconic. Yeah, I had a lot of fun today, man. Mm. All right, let's see how far we can push this puppy. Guys, if you're new in here and you want to support the stream, support the channel, uh, don't forget you can click on this Marvel Strike Force link in my Discord. We can go ahead and copy it too. Uh, all you got to do is reach level 7. You have to play it on a mobile device and... Once you do this, you reach level seven, you play it on a mobile device using this link I just put in the chat. You get a free account review. That's simple. After that, I want you to come here, screenshot it. Holy, I got some people who's putting this on work. Screenshot it, put it over here, just like all these lovely gentlemen are doing, and then I'm going to have to do a, a 18 million account reviews. It is what it is. 200 account reviews? No way, bro. No way. I'm looking at this, though. I, it looks like I have 63 bare minimum. <laughs> I got 63 account reviews, bro. By the by this this tracker right here, bro. I got 63 account reviews. Holy. Hey, if we get to 100, man, like I said, that's a good problem, you know? It's a good problem. At least I can do for you guys giving me a bag, you know what I'm saying? What's going on here? Is this a battle pass? Yeah, it's a battle pass, huh? Doesn't take long to level seven. Yeah, I mean, honestly, man, it takes it took me 50 minutes because like I said, I'm yapping to chat and stuff. If I did it off stream, probably 15, 20 minutes. You just stick to the main the MSQ the whole time. Take main story quest entire time. I couldn't put it down truly a game of all time absolutely true bro bro honestly people are sleeping on it if you ask me They're sleeping on it ask me man oh let me put this on auto yeah i'll be honest with you guys i think that dog's my favorite character roundhouse them in the head bro that's crazy they've added so many characters since i last played consistently like three years ago nice yeah i wouldn't know bro i'm a nub dang sorry guys had a had a pimple his higher tier of dog he can heal so it's nice Dude, that dog goes hard. That dog heals too? Insane.
My boy looks clean. Oh, yeah, I got a haircut, man. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Good waves. Light skin waves. Good waves. All right. Y'all don't want these paws. New accounts only, isn't it? Yeah, it's new accounts, unfortunately, brother. Give me a second, guys. Bro, that AOE is crazy. Hey, baby, don't be hitting my dog, bro. What's wrong with you? Marvel Strike Force. Who's your favorite superhero smack? Um, Doctor Strange and Gambit. Well, Marvel, Marvel. Yeah. Actually, I'm not allowed to talk about their, their competitors, so yeah, we're just going to keep it to Marvel. Spider-Man getting power crept by a dog. Hey, bro, that's one bad dog. Bro, Spider-Man really be going over there around house of people. Like, playing with Spider-Man on a game sounds incredibly boring because you got to go run up on people and actually physically do stuff. But Spider-Man... In real life, oh man, bro, that got to be one of the coolest powers to have, bro. Web slinging through the air. He's like a melee character in games, which is incredibly lame. Yeah, hey, I've heard the new X-Men show was really good. Is that true? I've heard nothing but good things about the new X-Men show. Hey, Lazarus, man. Thank you for the subscription, baby. The Flash is my favorite hero. I like the Flash, too. But Marvel has a better catalog. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, not even a question. Easy clap. Yeah, no, man. Who else do I like for Marvel? Magneto's my boy, too. He goes hard. Uh, Iron Man is, is also a great character. Ghost Riders, my boy. Where can we look at their roster? Oh, Black Panther. Yep. Yeah, got to represent Black Panther, man. Adam Warlock. Beast! Beast goes hard, too. Ooh, I was a big Cable fan on Marvel vs. Capcom 2, guys. Oh, my God. I was a big Cable fan on that game, bro. Cable was one of the most based freaking characters on Marvel vs. Capcom. Carnage, that's my boy. Oh, Cyclops. Yep, Cyclops goes hard. Dormammu. Dang, I forgot all about Dormammu, bro. Dormammu's so broken. There's my boy. Gambit. Gwenum. That's hilarious. I am Groot. Heimdall. Oh my god, dude. Iceman's also one of my favorite characters. Iceman goes hard as shit. I forgot about Iceman. Killmonger.
Who the hell is Mr. Negative? Mighty Thor. Moon Knight. That boy Morbius. Oh, love me some Nightcrawler too. I love me some Nightcrawler too. Nightcrawler's really cool, man. I feel like he slept on. Bro can teleport, man. He like beats people up with his tail. He's super cool. Oh, Psylocke was so good in Marvel vs. Capcom, I believe. Psylocke is a beast. Spider-Man villain, what up, Doro? Welcome on in here, brother. Good to see you, man. Venom? Yeah, no, no. Venom's easily one of the most goaded Marvel. I mean, everybody. I think I think we can, like, easily place Venom in top three of Marvel. Right? Like, Venom is just, just awesome overall. Rogue. I like Rogue. I, I'll be honest with you. I did not like Rogue in the in the freaking in the X-Men movies. I, I thought she was like pretty corny. But Rogue in game in, or in actual comics goes way harder. I'm good, brother. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I just finished up a, a, a pretty lengthy stream, at least for me personally. And uh, we're finishing off with our sponsor. Dude, I'm actually really impressed with the catalog of characters in this game. Like, dear God, bro. I've seen like 85 different Spider-Mans, bro. I didn't even... I thought I was a Marvel fan. I didn't even know there were this many Spider-Mans, bro. What the... F what the fuck is going on here? That's a lot of Spider-Mans, chat. Thanos! There he goes! The man... the Truly deserving of the man, the myth, the legend. Truly deserving of it. Well, how do I find him? Wait, I can get him? He's available in Legacy Orb? Man, I'm not, but they, they trying to get me with the Gamba, bro. Yeah, man, what are the odds of me getting a Thanos? There's no way I get a Thanos. I can totally see how people get lost in the sauce on this one, though, bro. My, my nerdy ass geek out and spend some cash just to try and get those characters. Yo, that's a lot of inbox. My OCD be going crazy with these uh with these messages, bro. Okay, we can claim those. My bad. Wolverine. Okay, let's continue on. See how far we can go. Keep pushing. I mean, my, my, my team is working, man. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Unless I get a gambit, then I'm gonna have to fix it. Or Doctor Strange. Now we get one of those, we gonna have to roll the dice. Lady, look you smiling. Hey, I forgot I told my chat that I was gonna play Elden Ring once the ex expansion comes out, that just came to me randomly, bro. I'm gonna have to start that up pretty soon, bro. I know another Marvel game that's as good as this character wise, but is less technically and I won't take away from the sponsor though. Yeah, yeah I hear you. A lot of people have been playing this game. I didn't even know this game had such a like big fan base, but uh, apparently a lot of people play it. And it's been around for quite some time. Aha! When's that out? I forgot about that. I think it's in June. Yeah, I believe it's in June. Okay. Are you a wretch main smack? Wait, what? Ooh. I don't even know what wretch is. I'll keep it a buck. <clears throat> Played it when it first came out. Animations never fully captivated me for me to stay though. The naked class in Elden Ring. Oh, no, I'm a weeb, man. I play Katana. 
Anytime I see a katana in a class, that's the, that's the one we're playing. <laughs> I, I love that Deadpool animation, bro. It's such a Deadpool animation. Bro, is that a panda Deadpool? Yeah, that's what I said earlier. I said, bro, look like a mixture of Deadpool and Rocket Raccoon or something. Okay, easy clap. Whoa, now, who the hell is this? Who is this? I've never seen that version of Spider-Man, bro. Like, they went deep into the comic books with this one, bro. Holy, we going back to the comics with this one. Deep, deep, deep. They've been reading ahead of the manga, bro. They on the latest chapter. That ain't Spider-Man, bro. <laughs> yeah, that... Spider-Man. You gotta you gotta think of a rose. It's a Spider-Man variant. Not sure which one because there are thousands of Spider-Verses at this point. I ain't gonna cap. That hairstyle was a little sus. Hippie Spidey. That looked like Karen Man. I mean, for a mobile game, the animation look cool. They even have finishing moves. Yeah, I know. No, I completely agree, man. And again, I think, like I said, I think this game, somebody told me a while ago, I think this game's been out since 2018. So it's been around, man. Pretty chill too. As you can see, you can put, the, put it on auto, chop it up, hang out, you know, do what you want to do. Most importantly, they have a skip button. Quite quite important for me. If I should say so myself. I do enough yapping myself as is, bro. Yeah, bro. That's Karen Man, bro. That's not Spider-Man. I just recruited Hawkeye, the most useless hero ever that shouldn't exist. <laughs> true. Hey, true. Hawkeye. This is not it, little pup. Auto has spoiled me. I never take it off unless I have to. Yeah. Honestly, I'm the same way with AFK Journey, too. But oh, I'll be honest though, in Hawkeye Star Wars, I, I never play on auto unless I'm like doing like the most basic shit. Man, I streamed so long today, I ain't even get to work out today. It's unfortunate. I think I'm gonna have to hit a couple push ups and squats. Multi stream? Oh, yeah. We did a multi stream today and it went successful. I'm happy about it. Um, I was I was hoping nothing wrong would happen and hey, we nothing wrong actually happened. It went well. It was a good stream. We talked about uh, nutrition and diet to our audience today, and they it, it was numbers were filling up while I was talking about it. People were loving it. That was nice. Um, then we went into some adventuring content, exploring all his mechanical depth. Uh, then we did Golden Gears. We did a little Marvel Strike Force. Yeah, man, we knocked out two sponsors today. It was great. It was a great stream. Great stream day. Good productive day. Smack Acheron or Jing Liu? Uh, Acheron, brother. Oh, yeah. Acheron all day, bro. It's like, with Acheron, it's not just that she's stronger than Jing Liu. She's 
She has more QOL at Jin Jing Liu. You know what I mean? Just delete everybody in simulated universe. Delete it. De bubs. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, like, yeah, she's just like, she's not, it's more than just how strong she is. It's also just the QOL of her technique. Boop, 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 boop. Guys, if you're just coming in stream, keep in mind we're playing Marvel Strike Force right now. And if you want to support the stream, you can come into the Discord, download Marvel by clicking on this link right here on your mobile device. It, it does have to be a mobile device. Uh, once you reach level seven, take a screenshot of it here. You earn yourself a free account review. No pressure, though. There's the link in case you're uh, interested. Power creep is inevitable. Inevitable. I am inevitable. I got you, Smack. Hey, Vanksies, man. I appreciate it, baby. Have you seen the Undying Team? Zombie Iron Man is very sick. That sounds incredible, bro. Like the more y'all keep bringing up little teams like that for this um for this game i easily can see how a lot of people play it like that sounds so cool hey give up man i don't know if you're in here but thank you for i don't know how long you've pinned uh marvel strike force but man you my boy though you always looking out i appreciate you gibbs my number one moderator bro Hey, bro, hold on. It's getting a little more difficult, ain't it? I'm gonna have to level up my characters, bro. It got a little more challenging. Oh, hold on, bro. We gonna have to level up. I think we ran into a wall. I, I'd go with the E6 galley, honestly. Damn you. Hey, damn, I ain't forget about you, bro. You've been here since day one. My bad, bro. You know I love you, dog. Hey, yo, what we playing? We playing Marvel Strike Force, baby. Finishing up a sponsor before we end the stream. Uh, as I told everybody earlier, if you want to support, bro, you can join the Discord. Click on this link here. Download it. Uh, screenshot your level seven. Once you reach your level seven, you earn yourself a, uh, a free account review. Bro, is that my, is that, what's his name? Uh, what's the bird dude's name, bro? I forgot his name. That's definitely him. Ain't no way it's not him. It could be anybody else. You, you, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you talking about the monk girl? Absolutely, Yusuke. Welcome in too, brother. Always good to see you. Falcon, there we go. I couldn't think of his name. Damn. Brain dead for a bit there. Oh my God, bro. That's a lot of supplies. Nah, man. Stop trying to get me the gambler. Open times four. If it's free, it's for me. If it costs, get lost. Their gamba is like interesting. Like it's a lot it's a lot to take in there's so many like things possible rewards and in here possible rewards there's a thanos there is that a thanos Ooh. where's the thanos i don't even see him Man, they ain't got no Thanos. Bro is ultra. He's good, but the team is underwhelming. That's unfortunate. Bro, they got a lot of people in this one. 
I still ain't seen a Thanos, but I, I haven't seen a lot of people that I like. I don't really know what to do with my currency, bro. I'm such a nub. Man, that was a lot of claims. Cost nothing to recruit people. Might as well, huh? Yeah, I don't really care about that guy. Um, Pretty base, so we're going to stay with who we got. Deadpool is always going to get some love because that's my boy. What you playing? I'm playing uh, Marvel Strike Force. Six years ago, I think they only had four gotcha options. Dang, that's crazy, Sarah. So wait, Sarah, you played Sarah Yellow ass be gaming. You played this six years ago. You would know. Gotta take care of my dog. Cause that's my dog. That's my dog. Yeah, that's my boy. Gotta take care of my boy. All right, cool. I don't really care for Punisher, even though people said he was broken. I like Deadpool. I like the dog. Spider-Man getting kind of stale. You know, I mean, you know, I want some more people, man. I get Black Panther. Where we go to get Black Panther? So is the orbs where you get people? I was playing on breaks back when I started selling health insurance. I feel respect. Do the story one for his fragments. Wait, where do I go to like pull on? Where's the, where's the gamba? Orbs is the gotcha? Okay, it's not guaranteed. Okay. Which one should I pull on, chat? Which one? Because there's a couple of them, man. Should I do this one? The Thanos one? Get Black Panther? Shit, I would love to. Energy is way more valuable. Thousands of thousands of cores. Okay, well, damn. I guess I just saved my shit. All right, well, how I get Black Panther, man? Come on now, chat. Where I go to get Black Panther? Go to story and do his fragment, brother? Okay, let me just... Wait, what? Everybody viewing your Black Order roster? Is this like his team? Oh, Black Order. That didn't say Black Panther. I'm wildin', bro. Ah, uh, Grandpa Smack moment, bro. Uh, War Dogs or Wakandans? Glad that's two W's. Hey, there they go. Oh, we got the yes, sir. And then Wakandan. Wakanda forever. And we got out of it. Don't refresh. I'm just using up this, right? Nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. All right, so they all use up that, huh?
Got to get my boy, man. Oh, what the hell is this? Okay. Is that Kingpin? Why they giving me everybody but Black Panther, bro? These nodes will have double shard drops. That really helps rank up. Okay. Shuri is a legendary character that you need unlocked by Spider-Verse characters. Bro, Kingpin is the beefiest mother. That is ridiculous. Bro is so swole. It's insane. There's a lot of grind. What's this? Oh, it's the battle pass, right? All right. Well, I don't really want to level up the other people I've been using, man. That's why I was doing all that because, uh, wait, how I get out of here? I like Deadpool. I like the dog, but man, I'm over. I'm over these two. I think I'm gonna start using Iron Fist. Have I seen the secret defenders team? Probably not. Iron Fist looked like he's gonna be kind of booty cheeks too, but we don't. I, I want to see what he, what he working with. Dang, he got a whole new setup after that. Bro gets upgraded again. Oh, why my iron fish so strong? Oh, I guess because we didn't we didn't hit a new area. Hey, my team getting beefy. You get your Deadpool to like five star with redeem code pool. I don't even know what that means, brother. That's metal punch. <laughs> yeah, bro's ready for the hands. Twelve, twelve, twelve. Um, I think if I had to choose out of these guys, I think I want to see what Kingpin talk about. Holy hell, we hit 30 minutes already. Damn, that was quick. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to do a little bit of this off stream. We'll save the last 30 minutes of our Marvel Strike Force sponsor on, um, on our next stream, guys. We'll be back. What's tomorrow? Saturday? Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. Okay, guys? Thanks for tuning in, man. I had a lot of fun today, guys. I really did. Great seeing the YouTube crowd and the Twitch crowd. It's been real nice. Uh, I'm glad I did it. It was fun. Much love to all of y'all. And um, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.